Okay, I am slow getting moving today. Moving today. I can't even speak. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Good to see all you. Hope you're having a wonderful day thus far. Hope you had an excellent weekend. Um, cat, what are you doing? Cat, cat, you want to cat up here? Come on, you can do it. Cool. Come on, John. You got it. I don't know why you can jump off of that, but... Oh. Yeah, he's a good cat. Um... How was that turned up? Why was I so loud? Okay, fixed it. Hello. How we doing? Priz, 2D dude, UPS Superman, anyone else who's lurking about? Uh, Drunken Sharcher, day two. Uh, for anyone who hasn't caught the first day of the run, this is um, a Shadowheart archery build I had planned with uh, primarily Cleric with a Hunter dip. Probably, possibly a Rogue or a Fighter dip, maybe as well, um, depending on the level distribution. Respects allowed, so I'll be tinkering. Um, but chat also wanted to see a run where I'm permanently drunk. So I combine the ideas. So Shadowheart is, uh, really into archery, but also substance abuse. On I go. Uh, last time we got to level 5, halfway through to level 6. Uh, so now it's just kind of the usual of uh, cleaning up XP to uh, hit level 6 before Grove Defense. Not because I need to, just because I like to. Um, trying to leave the Yankee Patrol untouched. I do need to knock out Elika. That's my start streaming alarm. Alright, I want to knock out Elika. Maybe I can get the bomb toss for the bridge fists. And then also eventually knock out Voss and kill Cadenas is the plan. Alright, um... So where's the vine for seven? It's there. Okay. Trying to be better about using custom key vines for important things. dealt with the Bawal situation. Probably another Karlak sacrifice run. Probably. Push notification. But what was my notification this time? Loading screen? I I, I don't remember. <laughs> How you doing? I did end up doing that speak with that. Okay. More Grimforge XP I could get. Drunken Charger. Ah, yeah, yeah. Hey, badly dressed on you. Hey, boring tag. How are you? Maybe Minty can't go to Act 1 because Larian doesn't want us to sack her. You can get Minty to Act 1, though. You just... It's another silence thing. Um... It's because she doesn't have dialogue recorded and NPCs don't have any reactivity to her in the wilderness. 
or the Underdark. However, she does have recorded lines in the Mountain Pass. And last few bits done at work for the day. Nice, nice. Start cleaning up some more XP. I want to kill these groups uh, up top and then go craft a Suser weapon, I think. Asleep. Crazy that he survived that. Well, we could sack House and see if he be alive for Thanyo buff. He does need to be. But neither House nor Minthara are options for sacrifice, even if you do bring them. Alright, disadvantage on stealth. Drunk. Also, I'm wearing adamantium splint, so it doesn't actually matter. Uh, because they're all drunk, they can uh, randomly fall asleep during this combat. potions so i should do something about that unrelated playing a new dragon age yeah i'm actually pretty deep into um i, I would say second playthrough i started a second playthrough wasn't really vibing with the class so then i switched and made it a, a, a third character and this third character is like halfway through their playthrough i like it a lot enjoyable game certainly a game you could nitpick a part if you wanted to, but like, at the end of the day, the gameplay is fun. Character creator is pretty cool. No stealth, only sharding. True. It should worship Shadowheart the perpetually drunk, not fight her. Also true. Not the min roll on Brute Mother's Revenge. I've seen many monstrosities in the character creators, so that's nice. It's probably the most in depth character creator I've ever seen. Yeah. He's an actual poison. Applied toxin not to the, the one I hit with the arrow, but yes to the one I hit with the AoE.
lightning burst. Poison. Silly. Might end up using this bow a lot longer term than I thought with how on hit effects work. We'll see. It's awesome. It is. Hey, Jester, how are you? Poison, still poison. Saved. That's rude. Yeah, as long as you're not super low HP, so like as long as you're not at a point where Brute or Fury of the Small or a straight crit really mess you up that bad. This fight isn't scary to even play out straight up because these guys will fall asleep and then they'll spend their movement running to each other and then their bonus actions pushing each other to wake up so they don't have um much they can do but like booyags have ray of sickness and a ray of sickness even on a high roll um high roll but non-crit that can just mess you up really bad like up to 16 damage but then that crit at lower levels especially Very lethal. Gotta just walk around with poison resistance, which I'm not doing currently, but. I took Wasteland Wanderer, Fire. I could have poison and then cover the fire resistance with Grimskull Helm, but it's not something I need to worry about right now. Can't detect what can't be seen. I have Feather Hole Potion, I do. to see what would happen. Floor. I'm going for him. Hey, Rue Blackthorn, how are you? I've done very little inside the Goblin Camp, too. Let's go craft the Suser weapon. Greatsword sells the best. Sickle's stylish. Dagger's the most useful. As in a pinch, I can just use it as a plus one dagger for stabbing or throwing. Um, so we'll go that route. I almost wish there was a, a Suser hand crossbow option. That'd be really interesting. Forgot a stuff. Got ahead of myself. Look, the flames. Hey, Gigi, how are you? Barn couple. Yeah, I, I can handle the barn couple now. Mostly. I do want more healing potions. 
I don't think I thoroughly looted the apothecary's basement. Let's go do that. And then if my supply still doesn't look good, we'll see if uh, Brenna Bright Song can make me uh, a few. Well, can't complain too much. There's Palma as well. Skeletons here. That's low yield. What's up? Possible dual wield long swords? Yes, if you take the dual wielder feat, you can dual wield any weapon that can be one handed, uh, even if it doesn't have the light property. So, see how daggers have this light property? That's what lets you dual wield. But if you take the dual wielder feat and anything that's versatile or does not have this two handed tag, you can. Uh, you can dual wield. I have one built for a play fighter playthrough. What were you thinking? Oh yeah, I like this campsite. This is one of my favorites, actually. There's so much loot in here. Also, I just like the space. This vessel is the looking at too long swords, champion. Do what thou wilt. But like, why are you dual wielding long swords? This wielding two blades or something? That would be crazy. If we could one hand sorrow, that would open up some crazy shit. <laughs> no, I just thought it would be fun. Fair enough, then by all means do it. checks but low enough on health potions that I just crafted some feels weird let's see thank you is at thy disposal hey say Do thanks for the good luck uh, how did you end off the science session Kill Salazon, did I? Try to knock out Elika too. Got 
to be tough. Because I need to do it without her going into like the gift area. We use Chime Breaker for this. Picking trickery for any specific reason, it's flavorful, and also Divine Strike Poison is something I want to mess around with with the Poisoner's Ring. Going through Merkle Gate dialogue, also did not unlock the exit, even this result is a result, just figure out a way to deal with Kether next time. No, that's surprising, but yeah, you'll, you'll figure it out. No doubt. Only watching your monk playthrough, some of your other playthroughs really enjoying them. Can I ask something about monk? Absolutely, toxic side gaming. And I'm glad you've uh, you've been enjoying. But absolutely, feel free. Like as a cleric, she's a ranger. Tavern Brawler must have a monk, or can we go with some dexterity base? It'll do fine. So, Tavern Brawler does three things for you it's damage, and that damage part is significant, but even if we throw out that thing, there's the other two big things. It is a huge amount of accuracy. That's my personal favorite part of it. But then also, it's plus one to strength or constitution. So, there's, there's a lot. You don't need it because Monk is insane regardless, but it is so impactful, particularly because of the combination of all those things, that very few other feats are going to give you that amount. Also, Quack, am I crazy? I want to be under the impression Scar if was changed. I thought they corrected it too, because he hit me with it in this patch and I didn't get crit. Well, he hit me with an attack once he was in that threshold and I didn't get crit, I should say. So... I don't know. You got that shot? Wild. Need inspiration, currently doing an evil dirge bar. Feels like it's missing something. Any recommendations how it can make it more interesting? Um. You have to villain monologue and song before you do something evil. And if you can't think of a good one, you can't do an evil thing. To make everything rhyme, yeah. 
Really? One short? Salazar. Maybe we lost the run because of that. It's not me for taking people at their word and assuming past seven actually fixed things. Ugh. I I don't think that that would have been on you, because I was under the impression it was fixed day. as well. But yeah, we should just never assume that patch seven actually did anything. I try and see how far I get. Uh, without truly struggling without it, might stealth escape combat, respect for it, and need to think about going way, way of shadows. Um, here, here's my question about this toxic side gaming. Um, what would you take instead of Tavern Brawler? You can absolutely make a case for taking other feats, but you have to be careful. Like, are you, if you're trying to increase the power of your character rather than going specifically for a theme or something. Like, there's very few feats that compete in terms of level of impact with Tavern Brawler when you are actually planning on punching. Now, you could play a weapon-based monk, and then Tavern Brawler would be less of a consideration as well. That's something to consider. Did no Tavern Brawler monk with heavy restrictions perform great? Yeah, you were doing heavy restrictions, you were experienced with the class, and you did a lot of weapons. Not exclusively weapons, but you did a lot. Savage Attacker or Mobile? I would say Mobile would be one of the feats that does fit that bill. Savage Attacker less so, because it's consistency on your damage, but you know what's also consistency on your damage? Accuracy to ensure that the hits actually happen. Um, But Mobile is a very good choice. do assassin rap bat to the horde breaker it's not okay of course you're doing more rap bat shit color spray yeah npcs don't seem to have the ability to understand when color spray would and won't work So I'll take advantage of that. I'll say I'm personally a huge fan of mobile. The extra movement speed alone is worth it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a really good feat. Taking six shadow monk, three thief rogue, two warlock, blindness without use of ring or other gear. Uh, oh, oh, blind immunity, right. One fighter fighting style, second wind for a little heal. Well, second wind is uh, completely terrible as a heal with only one level fighter. It would be a low roll of a weakest possible healing potion every short rest. That's pretty close to nothing, but I suppose it's not technically nothing. I am a fan of one fighter for the proficiencies on monk builds. I like that. Um, Three Thief is a popular pick for monk, but the more I've played, the more I'm kind of resistant to the idea, unless you're doing, like, resource dump boss melts, and even then, eh. Because, like, a big thing you get at level 9 monk is your martial arts die increases to uh, 1d8. And that's not only your punches, um, but that's also any weapon that you are proficient with that counts as a monk weapon. So, one-handed and you're proficient with it. Um, that will also inherit your martial arts die if that's bigger than its... An 8 die. So this Hell Giant Club would be a D8 on a level 9 monk. Daggers, including throwing daggers, D8. And crossbows, D8. Um, 
it's a very, very solid reason to go level 9 monk. And also at level 8, like with every class, you'd be getting an additional feat. Um, 3 Thief makes sense if you really want to lean into having that additional bonus action. If you want to do something like Shadow Step Away and then Hide, it does give you more mobility. But a monk is already not starved for mobility. Did 3 Warlock for level 2 spells? To what end on a monk build? What's that providing? No, I'm not going this way yet. I'll take this way. I prefer Giant Breaker. Giant Breaker gloves of power. This will work. If I went level 9 monk, I would get a second feed and wouldn't have another build. It's right. Um, both Trade and myself recently completed monk runs individually, where we used a 9-1-2 split. 9 Shadow Monk, uh, 1 Fighter, 2 Spore Druid. Um, but the 9 and 1 are the important bits. You know, um, I am a really big fan of heavy armor in this game, and having heavy armor proficiency with heavy armor master is a ton of additional just bulk you can put onto any build. Also being proficient with whatever weapon you want is great, picking up that shield proficiency. Um, it, it removes the need for you to play a race that gives you either medium armor or shield proficiency to cover for that when you want it. Uh, allowing you to do something like you could play a, um, a wood elf for movement speed, for example. Or a Dwergar for invisibility on demand. Um, and uh, that that's the appeal of the one fighter. So love Symbiotic Entity, its ability to be refilled. Yeah, it's so good, Keta. Thinking what else for the Stealth and Perception? Um, the Stealth and Perception don't really mean anything. They don't matter. But that three meters of movement speed, incredibly potent. Incredibly Uh, my friend really wants to play a full party campaign where we have uh, three classes per character, all 12 classes use. I think it'd be fun. Monk self class was that. Uh, Shadow. Shadow Monk. Never tried to refill with Shield of Thralls before now, but of course it worked. To my knowledge, any source of temp HP can combine with Symbiotic like that, if it's bigger than your Symbiotic. Um, which is uh, fantastic. don't have an elixir that'd be more beneficial for me to have active right now. I don't need to be super worried about this. did somehow still get surprised. I'm surprised, but I'll take it. Wordbreaker. Ability drain got applied to him. A wordbreaker attack? Sure. Revenge and plus. Nice. On the and I'll go up here. Worries personally recommend for racial buffs, game benefits, example, Grouse, Goblins, other than what up for the movement. Depends on what you need. Gith Yankee, for example, 
are terrible in terms of player benefit. I know there's this common perception that they're like the best. They're actually awful, except if you are looking to get medium armor proficiency and some skill proficiencies, then Githyanki's good. Uh, I'm a big fan of Githyanki for warlocks, for sorcerers, for wizards, because that picks you up light and medium armor proficiency. And then you can use astral knowledge to fill in one of your other, one of your um, categories of skill checks as needed. Most frequently charisma, but if you already have good charisma proficiencies by, say, being a sorcerer, um, then you could go dexterity to cover stealth and sleight of hand. You could go strength to cover athletics when you're throwing people. Um, bar underwear helps with horde breaker and our refreshing. Yeah, same as shadow step. Uh, Dwergar are insanely powerful. Just having a non-concentration version of enlarge at level three and then getting on-demand invisibility with no duration limit or resource cost at level five while also having advantage on a bunch of mental saves and um getting poison resistance if you are a uh a femme body type uh, Dwergar, you also uh, are considered small-sized, so Fury of the Small is not a problem for you. brace max damage on the bow and then yeah she can jump when drunk <laughs> i mean some people get very um energetic when they're under the influence Kaylee. for you no i do still have non-lethal no, not a nice old i'd care to experience twice back welcome back um yeah i was saying dwergar are incredible um drow have some okay use cases halflings are popular i maintain that halfling luck is an overrated feature because it is a fail safe for if you had a bad plan rather than it being something that's uh worth the opportunity cost of not getting better racial benefits and uh picking a small size race that uh bad movement speed and doesn't have something like superior dark vision humans low-key kind of crazy my opinion on human kind of waffles so, like, not having dark vision, terrible. Awful. No dark vision, no innate resistances. That's that's a tough sell. But, they get an extra skill proficiency. They have light armor proficiency, shield proficiency, um, spear, halberd, glaive proficiency. Um, and then they get 25% more carry weight. 
humans are unironically uh pretty okay. The no dark vision is a bit of pretty big problem though. Um, Get the Yankee also have this problem, but it can still be worth. You are careful. Absolutely, fortunately, something you can work around with gear, especially in certain classes like Warlock. Yeah. Being a Gloomstalker or a Warlock takes care of the no dark vision problem. I guess being a um, Transmutation Wizard also takes care of it, eventually. Very late. Like half of found myself playing one a lot. Yeah, ev they're all viable. What do we have here? Just, it still remains true that halfling is overrated because everything provided by halfling is safety net most? rather than outright benefit. Now, if you want more safety nets, that's perfectly valid. But keep in mind another flavor of a player race that gets safety nets while also having. Uh, more intrinsic value is the half orc. The half orc gets that cheat death every day, which is a great safety net. Uh, but then you also get superior dark vision. Um, you are heavier, and you um, you get that extra die on melee crits. Dragonborn's pretty bad, right? The brother weapons feel very underwhelming. Dragonborn is awkward. Um, the right choice can be very good. Like, Dragonborn are resistant to the damage type of their draconic, you know, blood. So, red Dragonborn have fire resist. Fire resist is very desirable. Um, sure, the later you get in the game, the more available it is. But having innate resistances is always a good thing. They are also heavy, like half orcs are. Um, they um, the breath weapon, depending on your build, can come up. Like if you have acid breath and you're doing um, noxious fumes from the gloves, that can be something. Uh, but having on-demand ice surface or on-demand ability to electrify water, or on-demand ability to ignite things. And it is damage that is, is guaranteed. Um, it can all have value. I would say Dragonborn is consistently lower value than most other races for most builds, but there are absolutely cases where that changes. Like, a blue Dragonborn is a pretty good pick for a Tempest Cleric. Uh, it's a very good pick for Tempest Cleric. Try to deal with the Minotaurs. Yeah, let's try to deal with that next. Getting more and more tempted now to play Dragonborn. I would recommend it. Like, if you absolutely forced me to label without context, like 
like a quote-unquote weakest player race, it would probably still be Dragonborn. Um, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have use cases. It'd be between Dragonborn and Gnome, but again, that doesn't mean lack of use cases. And that's just because similarly with, um, with Gnome passives, I don't respect mental saves. They don't matter to me. And Gnome Cunning is just more insurance on mental saves. the psionic overload. I feel like that's wasteful though. Do an acid arrow. I'm thinking either wood elf for movement and bow proficiency and stealth and perception or tiefling, a little less here to the spells they learned don't fully benefit monk or dwergar, possibly didn't notice before they got enlarged in invis. So, with the tiefling thing you said about spells, I think you're not valuing how those things can be useful. For example, um, Asmodeus tiefling gets hellish rebuke. Um, I think it's even an upcast health tribute because it's second level, but it's just you can do guaranteed damage to a target once per long rest after they hit you. Um, melee range, range, whatever. Th that's good. Doesn't matter that that doesn't synergize with Monk, it's damage you can do on your reaction. Zariel Tieflings get uh, Thaumaturgy, which is a awesome utility cantrip. Advantage on performance and intimidation checks for 10 turns. It's not concentration. No cooldown, you can just do it. It's a cantrip. That's really good for, for dialogue. Um, and then Mephistopheles Tiefling gets... Uh, that's the one with the Mage Hand, I think. And Mage Hand is incredibly useful. Again, utility. Um, so those are all good. And most importantly, Tieflings have Darkness... Uh, excuse me, uh, Dark Vision, and they have Fire Resistance, which are good features. Um, bow Proficiency from Wood Elf doesn't matter again because remember you were planning on taking that fighter level you get your weapon proficiencies that way uh, but i am a huge fan of wood elf and dwergar kind of regardless of of builds and and class because those are tangible features that are good all the time this one day as tiefling gets a uh, darkness spell through which is great for getaways yeah the thing about so the thing about darkness from asmodeus tiefling or from drow it's kind of the same deal as misty step and enhanced leap from gith yankee where i don't personally value getting an extra use of something that's already very easy to access as all that good Dwergar invis is different because while invis methods are potent they are expensive and the dwergar one you can just keep using it's reusable Whereas one extra Misty Step per long rest, obviously you can reach and travel to refresh it. Um, meh. Like, in Act 1 alone, there are two items that give you uses of Misty Step per short rest. And then there's a third one in Act 3. And by that point, you also have Dimension Door Boots. You have possibly Shadow Step Boots. You have Arrows of Transposition. You, you have lots of means of, of getting around, so it's devalued. Um, with Darkness, Darkness is a very good effect, but you can find it from vendors, you know, at level 1. You find scrolls everywhere. You can get Shara's Spirit of Evening and just get Spammable 1, at which point your Asmodeus 1 doesn't matter at all. 
That's just my perspective, anyway. Okay, I didn't, uh... Didn't close the gate. It may end up being a problem. We'll see. Apparently you can't jump. Hey, Crypto, thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Surprised to see you doing a morning stream, but, uh... Happy that you did one. Hope things are well. sleep so might as well hammer <laughs> i get you hey morning jesse good to see you hey you're rachel how are you hey amelia um we're playing shadow heart and she's uh she's perpetually drunk because uh i wanted to do a shadow heart archery build hunter cleric uh, but chat wanted to see my character always be drunk, so I was like, hey, what if I did both of those runs at the same time? So a little bit of, uh, drunken sharchery. Love that for her, a true wine mom. <laughs> Fifty damage. You rolled twenty one on two D twelve. Thank you. I was hoping you would low roll, but the high roll on the first one got me. That's okay. I'm not worried. I don't need to be worried. There's this oil barrel here. Take care of that. defeated Merkle with the Morningstar. Ah, you did the Twist of Fortune strat? Awesome stuff. Love that. I should probably have used my bonus action on getting Featherfall in hindsight. Surely it'll be fine. Surely I don't get punished. Yeah, that could have punished me. Okay. Um... Ball, blade ward. Mother's Revenge going. Somehow miss. War with advantage. Only needed a 5 to hit. Classic. Let's, uh, let's drain this shit. Concentration did break. Not unexpected. And handle one round, one round of this. 
plan on resting relatively soon anyway, so. This mark is worth it. Ow. You rolled that high. They're just rolling near max damage. And that's, uh, that's really not gonna work for me. Jump sounds the amulet one? No, it's not. Okay, it's good that it didn't die. Because then I wouldn't have gotten the XP. Hey, it's knocked out. Forgetting I have non lethal on. Alright, that was uh, awkward. Okay. The playful set of events there, yeah. I think I'm gonna go to Dwergar since if I go uh, 9 Monk, 2 Lock, 1 Fighter, I should have all the proficiencies weapon wise, would need the ratios of Dwergar, a little less movement I like. Yeah, that's a good plan. I like it. Uh, current levels 4 Ranger, 1 Cleric. Um. As we level, I will likely move that fourth level of Ranger out. So, like, once we hit level seven, my distribution would be three Ranger, four Cleric. But until then, it's kind of flexible. Rumbling Earth received condition hiding. Yeah, makes sense. If I got one fighter done, instantly start building monk from start. You would want the fighter level to be your first level so that you actually get the heavy armor proficiency. The proficiency is granted by leveling a class, or excuse me, by multi-classing into a class are different from the ones granted by starting as a class. Also HP, as Keta said, yeah. Thanks for all your help and assistance, of course. I love talking shop with builds. It is never, never a bad thing. Scrying eye. Better keep any mischief out of its view. With how my rolls have been going today, I'm kind of hesitant to do it, but rescuing Halson next. Makes the most sense. For us to get shoveled back. I 
I want to do the Jolt Shooter. But Giant Breaker having that extra accuracy and damage floor is, uh, we're going to be going with that. Where a Bloodless Elixir would make a lot of sense. Yeah, I'll do that. Probably should have gotten that kill for Bloodlust, but I still like how this works out. Do I have one more fire arrow? I do. Huge damage. and go ahead and maul a child. There you go. Yeah, you used your once per combat ability on the nearest kid and also crit them. Trying to get him in the fire. Guess I missed. Um, if I knock him this way, I can knock him through that steam cloud. Maybe make him uh, susceptible to a follow up uh, arrow of lightning. He saves. It's fine. be lethargic next turn, which means I shoot and then hide. Bloodlust action. I guess I don't need to hide, I could just pop two shots off here. Don't hate that idea, let's do it. Punishment. 
two stacks. Say low world. That's fine though. Lethargic. Get trouble in there. Huge crit. Nice job, shovel. and move far enough that one of the oh both of the works went for him rather than me okay pleasantly surprised he can handle that I need to go over here take one for the team shovel That one doesn't summon a spider. They're just dashing, good. No, Halston got crit. Oh no. Halston got ensnared. Fuck that one up, Allison. Okay. Sure thing, buddy. I guess we're all fucking it up. Sure. <laughs> cool thing about Hordebreaker follow-up attacks interchangeable. Yeah, yeah, you can do Hordebreaker range and then follow-up melee. And vice versa. I enjoy that quite a bit. I don't get to hit shots today. They get to hit all theirs though. So. Initiate with the rat pad, you stop it. You ate either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. How is this possible? That must be where these enchum. If you want to find a cure, you must. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. They are the ones holding these Paris. I told you, no. Mace. Tell this guy to wait. Might as well. I can do. Funny punch drunk bastard stuff with Horde Breaker. So what might you be hiding? That'll be on theme. Did I forget to call the ogres against Grim? I did. Alright, I gotta call them against the Lava Elemental now. Welcome back. 
damage. Trade the rat bat lad. <laughs> Still talking to Dror Ragslin, though something I have to be careful of is uh, charisma checks are not um, are not my friend on this run, so I might just pass up that XP. I mean, I could do wisdom, but until I have three levels of cleric for enhance ability, those checks aren't super ironclad either. And I'm being very stingy with inspiration because acolyte is not an inspiration route that I like. enough I've never done live rat bat stuff. Yeah, because you don't want your, your viewers to, to hear the noises you produce while using the rat bat. Jake. He's right here. He's Jake. Look at him. Look at this Jake. Every time I do, it makes me shake. Stay here. <laughs> Getting Leviatar's love is an inspo. Acolyte, right? Let's go deal with um ogres. Hey Sage, how are you? Also, I'd have to take Paladin levels for this game's already given me enough connections lately. The thing that's gonna suck when I do that will run that I'm I'm looking forward to is either I have to not do the paladin stuff until act two or i have to deal with the scuff that is not breaking my oath before raphael knockout and i just i am so not interested in that He's overstimulated now. Not. 
No XP? You get the ogre's XP when you get them to give you the hammer. Or not the hammer, the, uh, the horn. XP was already acquired. I don't want a sound redemption that's just the way Say has uh, one for just a randomized heading out without Isabel's blessing. It's just one of the possible lines there. I want that, but it's with this laughter from all the different voices. So like there's each origin, but then there's each player voice as well. Um, I think even Minthara has that recorded. Um, I'm not sure if Halson does or not. Minsk probably does. Considering how much they recorded for him. You feel a ch I messed up by petting him. He's now just like, hey, uh, give me all of the attention. Yes, I'm talking about you. I left off on that was using Cunning Broom Eversight Rings to Cloud Blast for two turns. You can sneak in another dash to sack wrath. Just sneak attack reacts might. Yeah, yeah. Cloak of Cunning Broom is something I want to use more of. It's just so cool. Just being able to uh blind people. Bump the controller. Come on. Back to mouse and keyboard UI. Thank you. Jake. Let me check his food situation real quick. I'm, I'm... When did you do this to? I got tangled. All right, come here. Think about trying to eat my monitor when you're. Hey Sora, how are you? Uh, but yeah, uh, Cunning Broom. Just making a fog cloud when you, uh, when you disengage is a very interesting. I almost want to do Slippery Chain as well, because then you could heal, which would give you all the benefits of, you know, being healed. So if you had, um, Boots Fade and Comfort or Brood Mother's Revenge, etc., etc. You'd get all that, um, and you'd get the disengage, and you'd get the, the cloud. That seems, uh, seems kind of neat. I do have animal speaking. Let's see what I can glean. Greed wants care we for his business here. He keeps us small. You father religion checks. That way I don't have to do any charisma stuff. Oh hey, that's a accolade and spell. Always forget that. Wasted. Slightly unfortunate, but now I know. I'll remember that for next time. No one drugs with clan flame shade. Did I already get the Invis Ring from over there? I did. I stole it. Unseen as I was taught. 
test this mantle on a rogue thief. Um, it's really cool, Kaylee. I saw uh, a smaller channel uh, on YouTube uh, many months ago now. They did a um, a Garangoth Thorm kill using um, Least Expected and Cloak of Cunning Broom on a pure class rogue. Time for a little Just like shooting from fog clouds and then making new fog clouds. if that cape existed. Yeah, a lot of items fly under the radar uh, in the face of things that have achieved popularity. Uh, for example, people act like Deathstalker's mantle is the end-all be-all of cloaks, but the more you play, the less good it is. Even on runs where I have it, I don't use it when I hit Act 2 anymore. There's just better options. The appeal of the Deathstalker's Mantle is that it's good when you're doing low complexity gameplay uh, and that it's the only cloak that has an effect that's available in Act 1. Awful post patch 7 just constantly ends combat. It's always done that. It's always done that, Pogler. That's not what I'm talking about. But, yeah. See if you stand still. Powerful, very frustrating. I'd say even calling it powerful is a stretch. It's acceptable. Yay, yay. They ruined that cloak up, and I don't worry about playing a dirge. <laughs> You can still play Dirge, there's still lots of benefits. And, as I said, that cloak is available before any other cloak is, so... If you get it early enough into Act 1, which you can get at the very beginning if you if you know how... That's all seated and everything. Um... That could be good. Hey Wookie, how you doing? So if I take this boat back, then it's not here anymore, and that would let me push these two in. The boat beckons you aboard. I'm gonna do that. Take the boat back and then fast travel. Good things, how about you? I can't complain too much around a Shades Lair cloaked. Yeah, if you can use something like Subtle Spell or have good stealth to just rehide before you do things, or if you have good action economy, there's there's ways to break that wide open. still have a hitbox right now. Okay, so blow. Interesting bomb choice. I should have the Titan String Bow equipped for uh, pushing attack, honestly. I have a Thunder Wave scroll. That's the wind. No, nothing. No way this lands. It'd be funny. Oh, <laughs> Get sheep, nerd. Quiet that 
that's the way Twitch ruined me. I was innocent once. Sure you were, buddy. How you doing, Rockstar? Love this goddamn game. It's so good, right? <laughs> Guys, arrows I'd kind of want. Got a lot of HP. Wait. Man, I just had a bad day. Good one. It, it, it was a sheep joke. That it was like like bah, like sheep. Crusher's ring here. I guess that Titan string. Speed this up a little bit. Oh yeah, I did already throw someone. Steve, how are you? A very cheap joke. Nice, nice. Ending your turn before the dipping animation progresses is a good way to get longer dips. See if that actually consumes my bonus action in the following turn. You will stay hidden. Hide. Two turns. Oh, mother's on. I don't really have the healing potions to sustain spamming this thing constantly, but I'll do it anyway. Only because I'm also getting blessed a lot of the time. Not right now. Stay grouped so I can horde breaker. Having bonus action hide here would be great. 
that almost makes me want to go two rogue levels, but then I wouldn't be able to get Divine Strike and Hordebreaker. I guess the expensive solution to that is uh, I just drink an Invis Pot with my bonus action every turn. Rename origin characters? No. I have a mod that renames Shadowheart to Shark. That's all the mod does. It seemed important. shouldn't spend consumables here. This is just going to take a long time. Because I don't have bonus action hide, keeping them grouped up with minor illusion. Not super feasible. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking while we level, before I have access to Divine Strike, two rogue is going to be pretty good. I want three cleric as soon as I possibly can get it. Um, so I can get enhance ability to offset my charisma disadvantage in dialogues. Though for a lot of those, I have that covered with thaumaturgy and with charm person. As long as I'm careful. I think next level's rogue. This will make things interesting. Bring in the feet to shark shooter if you plan on taking it. I need a mod for that. Damn shark shark shooter is that's up there with Sharcher. Name wise. Damn, what did I think of that. I decided to stop trying to optimize my damage for each round and just get this over with. You're right over there, Kevin. Cat's just being quite large. Not rolling around. some of the most annoying enemies in the game, IMO. Oh yeah, mimics are scary. They steal your weapon, they do a ton of damage, um, and the acid is kind of a troublesome damage type to deal with as well. They can pull you, they've got resistances, like, these are enemies to be respected. That's why I'm uh, fighting them from up here. Hey Sao, how are you? Died here to gravity and they grab me? Yeah. It's, uh, rough stuff. Hook me off the ledge somehow. If you're standing, like, directly on the ledge, they can sometimes have a line of sight, which is why I'm stepping back from that ledge.
Your duo run with a mimic stole the guardian face weapon, you get anything from the chest when killed. I believe it was just a regular greatsword. Like to chunk them with oil uh for combustion at the start, yeah. Could steal a Guardian of Faith weapon. Yeah, it doesn't actually do anything. Like, the Guardian of Faith still is attacking and stuff. Um, but I suppose if you wanted to get one of your summons, like, that is capable of being disarmed, if you want to get their weapon, you could have a Mimic take it. Hey, Control, thanks for the 100 bits. How you doing? Work with Myrmidons. Yeah. Now, there's already UI trickery you can use to get the Myrmidon weapons, so you don't need to take that step, but I imagine you can't do that on console, so using Mimics to get Myrmidon weapons would probably be the way on console. Okay, can I borrow a few of your upper vertebrae? Yeah, sure, I'm not using them. With my posture, yeah, I don't need those. So I have a better angle. Hey Cass, how are you? Always good to see you. Hope you're thriving. I'm doing okay. Can't complain too much. fight, but they fight. Of the radial menus. You see, uh, change is bad, so I can't wrap my head around those radial menus, because I didn't learn to play the game on those. So they, they look completely just indecipherable to me. I'm sure if I put in some effort, they wouldn't, but imagine a gamer putting effort into something they don't understand. Who would? Not the bravest strategy, I'll admit. Completely customizable, and it's so awesome for me. And I can see why people don't love them. Customization is always good. effort into something I don't understand. Why do I feel so angry right now? <laughs> See, if I had bonus action hide, then I could just keep them in that horde breaker position.
play console complaints for druids. You can't change how the radio menus are organized in wild shape for some reason. Huh. Whoever decided that for shame? That sounds like the kind of thing that just slipped through the cracks rather than being an active decision. Because that's, uh, that's certainly odd. Nice crit. And actually get the other mimic. Check this out, it's gonna be spicy. And I Horde Breaker. I was hoping I could Horde Breaker in a spot where I also had the cat, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Critical miss. Fur mimics are cat lovers. Maybe mimics are okay after all. Hunter action economy, go burr. good practice for no hit, I suppose. Wait, where may I apply or get the Twitch sub rule on Discord server? Uh, just link your Twitch account to your Discord account. It's automatic. Just check for anything useful. That'll give you the uh, ability to use all of the uh, Twitch emotes in any Discord server you'd like. In the Adamantine Forge, dude. Seems so scary for honor mode. Already did. See, I have the armor. Well, I could have that without killing him. See, I have the helmet. That's another thing that Minor Illusion just completely trivializes. Still encumbered? Wow. Carrying too much stuff. Have to sell stuff soon. targeting. So Grim has very low intelligence. So Grim will almost always fail the investigation check and then just start walking to to go get to the the cat. And then that allows me to position Grim effectively wherever I want. Uh, and then I just shoot the lever remotely to operate the forge hammer after kiting him through lava and I just shoot, shoot the lever until the forge hammer kills him. Welcome back. Have you let Welcome back. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Almost 5,000 gold. Nice place to be. Uh, I actually have to buy healing potions. Wild.
extremely glad the algorithm brought me here learning so much. Hey, happy to have you here, Candy Maker Tour. Um awesome thing about BG3 is that um the depth of the game is to such a crazy extent that uh every player who boots up the game with the intention of figuring out how something works learning something new or who goes to a new place with the intention of learning how something works or finding something new you can learn something every day this is still true for people like myself with over 3,000 hours in the game i've done over 30 successful honor solos on stream i'm still learning new things every single day utterly insane by Psychic Spark, which makes sense to have. Vendor Shoes with Arrow Fire could be, like, okay. But, meh. Been playing, I think I have five characters going side by side, yet to finish the game, yet, because I keep learning new things. <laughs> nice. Good problem to have. Two very close to the end, though. OG Ranger and Dark Ranger and Act 3 getting ready to deal with Orin. Ah, best of luck on that. I think this is going to be our first Honor Solo playthrough. Can't use the Druid Money Glitch on console. Um, I don't think you need Money Glitches. The game's economy is... Personally, I think it adds a huge layer to the to your overall game knowledge, learning how to manage that. Um, and then also, it's very easy to break. Like, without much effort, I'm running around with over 4,000 golds in the first act. I can buy any item I want to right now. Um, I'm mostly saving for later, but I could also just be maybe with more difficulty on this run since I have disadvantage on dex checks thanks to being drunk. Um, I can just steal whatever I want succeed eventually you never need a money glitch or a, a vendor glitch or anything you trying to explain that to my husband wanted to play this game so badly he'll love the depth of it depth of this game is almost unbelievable yeah yeah sell enough rotten fish suddenly rich See, I keep rotten food around for utility purposes. It's got a couple applications. First thing is uh, you can destroy it for things like uh, arcade acuity stacks from from those helmets. Uh, you can stack heat by hitting them with fire damage as well. So good for pre-buffing in certain situations. But uh, on some builds, eating this to get poisoned is a good thing. Because it poisons you, there's no saving throw. Ten turns, this is a free action, it doesn't cost anything. Uh, so particularly if you are a wild heart barbarian with uh, aspect of the honey badger you can give yourself an upset tummy and then get 10 turns of a 50 percent chance to just start raging for free at the start of the turn this even works outside of combat so you eat a rotten food piece and then for a minute every six seconds the game will decide whether or not you just start raging and that is the only way in the entire game that that is honey badger for you to rage outside of combat at least that we know of right now. So that allows you to go for surprise rounds while already raging. But on this run, a non-barbarian playthrough, it's mostly just for the arcane activity pre-stacking. Give rotten food to Karlak in my no boys allowed run. Yep. Give Mama K an upset tummy and it becomes everyone else's problem. Love that for her. I could go for hook horrors. I keep rotten food around just in case rabbit shows up. <laughs> Gonna make me feel bad though. Carlisle is literally the nicest person in the game. He is very nice. It's okay, it'd be fine. 
How much XP do you lose if Zevlor dies in the first row of defense? Zevlor in the Act 2 finale is worth 350 XP. It's crazy. <laughs> So, uh, a lot. I believe that's the same as Balthazar. Zevlor and Balthazar are the same XP value. 315. Okay, so he's a little bit less than Balthazar. Thank you, Trade. Trade would not. That's why when he does Karlak almost every round run. I, listen, I haven't decided. I've been dragging my feet. It hasn't happened yet. Maybe it doesn't happen this run. You don't know. Any idea why the bullet won't spawn one of my runs? Keep getting the rumbling knockdown moment, never pops out to fight. Are you going to the correct spots, White Priest? The bullet has five different spawns. Once it's showed up from one, it will not show up from that one again. You need to move on to a different one. And there's a couple spots where the rumbling happens, but it doesn't actually pop out. And those are different from those five spawns. Will is a character that exists. Honestly, I don't think I know how to play Will. Warlock is a class. Warlock's uh, my second favorite class in this game. And I think Will is a character. He's certainly undercooked, but the thing is, Will is a an objectively good man who makes terrible choices. Um, but he's also a, the kind of guy who's he's a good support to have in your corner. And he's like a traditional heroic figure, which does make him boring, especially by Baldur's Gate 3 character standards. But at the end of the day, Will's a good guy, just a boring guy. And I think people... Well, there's one very obvious reason why some people enjoy being really hard on Will. And that bums me out. But, um... I think more people should give Will a chance. How to beat Bulen solo honor, can't even get through his 100 temp HP in 3 turns. Do more damage. But like, so, you need large burst damage to get through that temp HP. And you have a few options for that. You can... See, do I have... A favorite example. I don't have an Omni right now. Um, you can throw a water bottle at it to make it wet, which gives vulnerability to cold and lightning damage, then blast them with a lightning bolt. That'll definitely chew through the temp HP very quickly. You could um, stick an oil of combustion on them and then start blasting fireballs. That'll chew through really quick, too. You want to do uh, Will X Carlac do a run? Do it. Do it, Jesse. It's uh, it's very sweet. They're very good together. I believe if you... um, Depending on how you play things out, Will and Carlac can end up together without player, like, input. As many who despise Will find in Will the humanity that they wish they had, yeah. <laughs> Will always hates me because I forget to not recruit him before starting eating tieflings. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Used to be a bit more rough around the edges, but it was reworked. It was. It makes fantastically bad decisions. Has daddy issues just like me for real. Hey Darklos, how are you? Um But Warlock, in terms of how to play that, uh it's one of those classes that 
you can play it however you want to. It's got so many tools, so much versatility, like selecting your invocations and selecting your spells. The fact that Blade Pact allows you to be a fully fledged melee character or throw character if you wanted to as well. Um, that's what I love about Warlock. It's highly customizable. It's also got the benefits of being a charisma caster. And charisma is the... If you're gonna have to build a mental stat in, this is speaking as a theory crafter, charisma is the least detrimental to your overall character's level of power. Having to buff your intelligence and wisdom, you don't have to as much as people say you do, um, but having to buff that is pulling points away from better stats. Um, but Warlock doesn't have that problem. You can just safely completely dump intelligence and wisdom and pump that charisma up while still having that good strength dex. Uh, and then even have a little bit left over for Khan if you want it. I guess I'll go deal with the Merrigan. Makes me nervous though. I really don't want to. 8 in, 8 with gang. You know it. Question, should I kill off party members or shove them to camp and leave them? Gale won't be around and throw too much so that depends on you different party members will open up different things that they don't even need to like help you in combat for i recruit all the, all the party members um at one point or another for various reasons i don't bring them with me in combat or anything but there's benefits to recruiting them in some cases there's benefits to not recruiting certain party members um But, um, yeah. That's up to you. Been keeping wisdom around because Dark Herd want to reject Ball and learn the hard way. I need wisdom for that. One thing about that, you don't. Now, for the one specific check you're thinking of, yeah, you do. But you don't ever have to make that check, even while resisting, because that will only happen. If you happen to long rest inside of Act 2, very late in Act 2. If you never do that long rest, that never happens. If you take Slayer form? No. It's if you don't take Slayer form that happens. Never had that check show up. As I said, happens only if you long rest inside of Act 2, inside of that map, late in Act 2. That long rest about. I'm, I'm trying not to go over explicit story things uh, for some people who may not have finished runs, but if you did not take the Slayer form, there are consequences. That long rest event is consequences. Slayer for too much? Don't be. You are quite alright. It's fine if you guys talk in spoiler terms, it's just I know there's there's some people around who have only played one origin or who have not finished playthroughs yet. So sometimes I put an effort to if it's not about a gameplay thing, I just go vague on story beats, unless we're already discussing a particular story thing. It's not a hard rule. It's not something you have to worry about. Um, now I switched off of the fire resistance elixir. Um, so I'll put on Grim Skull Helm to get fire resistance for this. Um, I want Amulet of the Unworthy for the Merrigan. 
but not for the Hell's Force. Get a giant breaker. Target arrow? Hmm. That's actually super tempting. Jumps now makes me so nervous. Fell through the world again in Gauntlet Shar. Ugh, I'm sorry. Two pieces of gear that help. One makes you proficient in wisdom, other gives you advantage in wisdom checks. Check is 14, so if you have inspo, you have good odds. Yeah. It's uh, the biggest mistake I've seen people make is long rest in late act two while having the risky ring equipped. Blade Ward in case I get hit, and I used a Speed Pot to increase my AC to 25, also allowing me to uh, have that extra action to burn through this faster, and it gives me an action to spend on maintaining Blade Ward. action in here too. Try to finish you. Stuff. I can use the Hunter's Mark from Grimskull Hunt. Risky Ring late act rest. Totally didn't happen to me. Not a clue you're talking about. Hey, son. A lot of wild hog hog in me. I got my hog out too. turn before Blade Ward happened, so I maintain it for one additional turn. One thing about Risky Ring that actually comes in Elixir form in Act 1, yeah, Tadpole Elixir. Tadpole Elixir is sick. Sentinel will trigger off the Horde Breaker tag. It's uh, kind of unfortunate, actually. Ow. Oh yeah, I have non-lethal off. Right. Means I didn't bloodlust. Um does mean I can kill it next turn though.
that gave me Bloodlust. And can Horde Breaker follow up. Um, okay, use your reaction already. So I'll do this. If I can land Giant Breaker for reeling. Another shot for more. And then I get back in range. Potion of Speed is my favorite potion in the game, I think, but I'm using it on my fighters. Dark Urge, Potion of Speed, Extra Attacks, for Band, Action Surge. Out of here, basically any enemy. It's, um, it's great action economy. The thing is, on Honor Mode, uh, Haste Actions don't get your extra attack, so that's something to be aware of, but Action Surge does. Um, but yeah, potions of speed are, for uh, challenge runners, the preferred form of haste. It's no concentration, uh, means it's much more controllable. Until we find out about Terra's little, yeah, yeah. I also want to point out, did Halston at no point think about just turning into a mouse when the goblins aren't looking at his case for slipping through the bars? No, he, he could get out at any time. You can even manipulate events in a way where he does just get out. Um, he's just staying there, trying to finesse killing the goblin leaders, but he's really bad at it because he's canonically stupid. Like, Halston just is not very bright or very good at anything. familiar. So familiars don't trigger these surprise locations. Scratch and Shovel do, but Find Familiar doesn't. And I find that to be odd. I wanted to confirm because that's how it worked with the methods. I will have to trigger this fight myself. Love to be smothered by those arms and boobas. <laughs> Today, people dumber than me, anyways. Except Sam is the only exception. Have to keep pushing. It's great. As you know, I am a Sam enjoyer. I used my frog for a bloodlust action. you guys are gonna get married it's gotta make an honest man of me one day hey so black how you doing 
unfortunately for my husband, he might be most like Gortash. Quick fix for for any man being like Gortash: take a shower. That easy. Figured out the key to abjuration builds. Tell me more. equip any item has notable feature that's what gives ward back when you're out yeah yeah i i was doing a fair amount of that uh, unequipping certain items works too hex works rage works true strike i think hellish rebuke also does weirdly Fire right here, may as well. From Gortash to Gore Smash with this one simple trick for Editor's Hayden. I almost uh, installed a, um, a Gortash mod for, for this run. I had one on the previous run. We had Bald Tash on the last run. We still got time. I, I can I can put a hot Gortash mod on for this playthrough. Have a way to replenish wards not casting is huge, yeah. There's a key to abjuration builds, have an abjuration laser out, please don't judge choices are made. No judgment at all. She's basically indestructible without me knowing how to like min max. Oh yeah, no, abjuration is insane because it's so powerful even with minimal investment. But the idea of what we're talking about is, right, what, what So Black is referring to is um, making people hit you and taking advantage of abjuration features to minimize the damage you receive. But you do still want them to successfully hit you so that you can do damage to them in response. So it's a lot of management of you want them to hurt you, but not too badly, but then you want to be able to sustain that level of ward without dropping too low or going too high um so it's very it's very precise hunter action economy is uh it's something hunter with a bloodlust elixir you just you just keep shooting. It's so good. Apparently I can add mods to console this section for a very attempted. Yeah, yeah, console mods, they have like a slower approval process and the nature of what mods can be on console is a little more restrictive. Um, but the fact that there's console modding at all is uh, pretty great, in my opinion. shit in my pocket's kind of my biggest downfall in this game very very lootful goblin that's one of the reasons why i can't bring myself to ever 
play low strength on a character. Fortunately, it works out that having high strength is just also good for combat purposes and mobility. Um, but yeah, I, I'm a massive hoarder as well. I'm always hanging out somewhere close to my weight limit. <laughs> Laws from House of Hope. Yep, yep, those are nice. High strength for me is for using other elixirs. That's another really big aspect of it. Yeah, elixir slot is so powerful. So being able to free up your your ability to, you know, use that slot effectively for a situation is great. I know a, a popular school of thought is just strength elixir all the time, and I use strength elixirs frequently. But putting your stats in a configuration where you are forced to do that is making your character less flexible, not stronger. Might as, well take a look. as with all things, there are exceptions. There are some cases where I still do that anyway. But I will very rarely make a character that has any less than 14 strength. And even 14 feels low for my preferences. Just vigilance all the time. Yeah, not having alert is painful. That's why I rarely do it. <laughs> Strike affects your jump. Oh yeah. So jump right now nine meters for me. With 19 strength from Hill Giant Club. Let's unequip that. I'm encumbered now too. So jump is three meters. Enhance leap. 26. Equip this. My enhanced leap is 10 meters. Okay, you can get your jump distance to be in the 70s, 70 plus meters. It's you know, a full screen, and that's incredibly valuable. Um, exterior of the goblin camp is what I can start working on. We did get Warg Fang. There's a pretty solid case for me equipping Warg Fang rather than a shield. Sticking with a giant. Booyog Piddle to die. So I can get his scrolls. Now getting him to die is difficult because he's kind of set up in a way where that's um awkward. I'm gonna go for a lot of damage floor here. I wish I had an Aravel Mater here. If I had an 
Gengor pushing attack could also knock him off. That would be ideal. No, that's fine. Now, that use of resources may have seemed questionable, but he's set up to... He'll just run away. Um, so I wanted to ensure his 20 XP. I can get more potions of speed and everything later. I want to ensure his XP. Also, I want his scrolls. Now, my rolls were, unfortunately, um, not great on this shot. Even through the reroll, I only rolled a 4 on the 1d8. That's okay. Something I need to be aware of here is, um, Brenna and Andrick are here. Brenna has command. I don't have wisdom proficiency right now. I should go correct that. I want to go get the helmet for wisdom save proficiency, just in case. Abjuration Monk also finally made it to Act 3. Oh, let's go. How was, uh, how was Merkel? I imagine very, very easy, considering how every aspect of that build has an insane matchup into him. But, uh, tell me all about it. And you're gonna do, um, Cold Snap, Freeze, Key Resonance, right? Uh, when you're in Act 3. Very excited for that. Monk is the punching stuff class. It's one of the things you could do on the class. Monk is also the most damage you can get out of hand crossbows. Monk also has the most mobility of any class. Monk is also incredibly good at throwing things in a hit and run play style, though many classes can do that. Uh, but the build concept that So Black is doing is um, taking abjuration features and just combining with monk mobility and creating a, a a series of situations where it's like, okay, you hit me, you take damage. You miss me, you take damage. And then also having monk's full power alongside that. More sketch than should have been considered in the matchup. Well, you got through it, so that's what counts. Was Monk at the most out of hand crossbows? Your martial arts die um, that goes up as you level will also affect weapons that are considered monk weapons. So that is any one handed weapon that you have proficiency with. So, see how this. Club has D4, 1D4, this dagger has 1D4, um, this hand crossbow has 1D4, or, or uh, 1D6, excuse me. As your monk martial arts die increases, um, that will also apply to weapons. Not just your fists, weapons. Any monk weapon. Hand crossbows, if you have proficiency, are a monk weapon. At level 9, your monk martial arts die is 1D8. So monk hand crossbow damage at monk level 9 is 1d8. That is the same as a longbow. But it's your hand crossbows.
Is he going up and around? He is. If they're coming up. An interesting turn of events. I think failed, but they're not mad at me yet. Master Spiffness, how are you? We got Bruno with that bomb, which was the intent. Andrick walked in at the last second, got him too. I almost want to click that many target ar arrow, but I know that'd be wasteful. Hunter's mark on you. I'm gonna hide. On a cleric. Special fits, I think. That's what he used divine intervention. Only use it in his free hope from House of Hope. It was full rest of Raphael fight. Generally, I like that use of divine intervention as well, just refilling spell slots in an emergency in combat. I want to run a Tempest Cleric where I just make a big water puddle, electrify, and make all the enemies ping pong around, assume I don't need that much wisdom. Yeah, you don't need wisdom at all for that. Hey, right, that's Coleman. How are you? successful, huh? Okay. So, like, what was I rolling here? The DC was low enough. Heading there. 
fun with about you. Can't complain too much. Only issue I had with Tempest Cleric, she completely uses against uh, Answer. Um, you do have to change approaches for, for that boss. Yeah, that's true. But it's still doable. I am a big fan of swinging weapons around on Tempest Cleric. Dagger stab on you too. Kind of wanted that shove to succeed, actually. So they can't imagine not having good strength, can't imagine not having good dex. Oh, I agree. I agree. Both. Get you both. Dexterity is the most important stat in this game, speaking broadly. Um, the way I almost never have strength lower than 14, I almost never have dex lower than 16. the small be like Actually, I do want to stay here. Sometimes drop dex to 14 or 10 when the character's going to use medium or heavy armor anyway. Uh, you're still murdering your initiative, your dexterity saves, your accuracy and damage with ranged weapons. It's far from just the armor class stat. But that said, there are still cases to dump dexterity a little bit occasionally. Uh, but usually it's the kind of thing you're only doing if you are going for something very specific. Dexterity is the wonder stat. It truly is always good. Of course I missed. Maybe alert beat in her mega melee makes sense to drop dex. Still wouldn't. Because alert by itself does not get you past the initiative threshold of several important things. For example, Karnas, your gear. Raphael, Hazador, Gortash, Seal Watchers. Alert and high dex alone don't get you there. So alert and low dex certainly won't get you there. What initiative does Raphael have? Uh, plus 13, I believe. Because of the, the way his stats work out. 
uh, Gortash is the outside of the hyena in the um in the wilderness that's set up to kind of combine the null encounters. Outside of that, Gortash is the highest initiative enemy in the game, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, and he's slightly above Kazador, who is slightly above the likes of Raphael and your gear. The Null? No, not the Null, the Hyena. That Hyena is the highest initiative enemy in the game. Highest initiative creature in the game, I should say. Enjoy your alert, GG. Who go first to chosen a bane or some random hyena? <laughs> A hand that runs off to her older than Nulls? Yes, that one. Easily fooled by killing the Nulls up top first? Yes. But yeah, going over initiative again. Let's say you had alert and 16 dexterity for a plus 3 modifier. Um, that is a plus 8 initiative bonus. So the maximum you can roll in the die is a 12. That is still below the threshold where you guarantee certain outcomes. For example, you need plus 12 to guarantee that you outspeed your gear. Your gear getting a turn before you can be catastrophic depending on your, your positioning and your luck. Not in the business of taking risks, so I uh, I prioritize him not getting turns. So you still need high initiative from your dexterity. You need initiative from your gear, your gear, um, like Sentinel Shield is plus three. I usually use Sentinel Shield and Fistbreaker Helm. To get it there. Or instead of Fistbreaker Helm, put on Gloves of Dexterity. Take me from plus three dex modifier to plus four. The less you leave it to chance in this game, the better. Yeah, exactly that. Not had an issue with your gear yet after my initial counter with him. I said, fuck it, and sneak attack and surprise him for that fight. Well, he has alert. He can't be surprised. You can surprise everyone else. Um, I'm referring to honor mode, where your gear can't be surprised and he has the ability to put a, a guaranteed damage source on you that whenever you try to attack, he just hits you. Even if you dodge the attack, he still hits you. And that's without factoring in his bombs that he can do. He has two kinds of bomb tosses. His melee attack does crazy damage, his ranged attack does okay damage, his thunder shockwave also hits you whether he hits you or not. Uh, and that has the added hazard of possibly um, ring outing you. And is piercing your giggle. Yeah, yeah. It's especially hard to fight your gear when none of my blood is in my brain. You, you always gotta factor that in. Um, coming to Europe for the Nether Brain last run. <laughs> Laugh, you kept doing every three seconds. <laughs> I um, wonder if that hyena is supposed to have stupidly high initiative to be a sort of pseudo-tutorial on how one fight gets out of the area and start to join with another encounter. Yeah, it, it's specifically so that hyena can combine the fights and to promote you respecting that mechanic. I, I think that's great game design. Playing on the difficulty of the game auto-select so far the basic normal mode. 
Yeah, there's a lot of mechanics are added on tactician mode that are not present below that. Uh, even outside of enemies just getting additional HP and stat bonuses across the board. Um, their AI will get more aggressive and a lot of creatures will get additional stuff in their, their bag of tricks. And then beyond that, honor mode will add even more mechanics to um, specific creatures. And I hit level 6 without Bullwall. If I can, then Karlak gets to live this playthrough. That's a matter of finding a bunch of XP. Thinking. Start working on the interior. Does that make Tactician more fun, though? It depends on you. It's always best to think about difficulty as an accessibility feature. It just the same as, you know, camera sensitivity and things of that nature. The appropriate difficulty setting is the one that allows you to enjoy the game the most. And starting on one does not mean you have to stick on that one forever. You can always do future playthroughs and change it up. If you want to challenge yourself more mechanically, increase it. If you don't, don't. I play exclusively on honor mode now, but like I should note that I was scared of going above balanced for my first two, maybe even three playthroughs. Um, so I did a few playthroughs, not even on tactician, before I started up moving up, and then I was only playing tactician, and then honor mode came out, and since then I've I've only been playing honor. Mode. The correct answer is. Uh, the one you feel most comfortable. I don't want to deal with those two yet. Does the difficulty also affect HP scaling of your party? Seeing people playing lower difficulty have a bunch of X, uh, HP. Yeah, on Explorer difficulty, you have double HP. Black. So on the lowest, you just double. Used to be 1.5. It might be 1.5 rather than 2x. Now it's double? Okay, cool. I was was correct then, yeah. One life sounds not fun to me. Remnant to one life and be dying, falling through the map is like, well, that's ass. So you can play <laughs> custom mode. Um, technically, I'm on custom mode right now um, with the honor rule set, but I specifically will reset if I die because... I enjoy running the game in a challenge running sense. Uh, the reason why I'm playing custom honor rather than regular honor is because patch 7 introduced a bunch of bugs that uh, I don't like. So if I end up um, you know, hard locked because of a bug, I do like having the ability to go back to a autosave or quick save, but I don't otherwise go back. Risk of permadeath is one of the things that makes these runs enjoyable to me. It means I have to be very careful. And constructing strategies around that is fun. For me. That's why it's the right choice for me. I think it's all a little bit more to blur. I could kill some Mykonids, I want to hold off on that though. I'll try finish my research. 
Welcome back. It's regular automotive allow have you mod for Verma Drunk? I'm sure, but I'm not using a mod for that. I'm just using the script extender console. In my is it's in the liking. exclamation mark how command. Just I type that into the script extender console every um after every long rest. Very well. I should try changing the duration to be actually permanent instead of long rest, but Close enough. Using minus two instead of minus one should just be permanent. Alright, yeah, let's try to kill um Hokoris. More XP. Hokoris and Philro. If I I switch to this. Hey Doge. Hey Jane. Really curious about these patch seven bugs. Could you elaborate? So, um, enemy AI has gotten very scuffed in a variety of ways. Um, some enemies will just refuse to actually enter combat with you. Um, Disciple Zarel, for example, she's just. She doesn't do anything in patch 7. Like, pick a fight with her at her office. You'll see. She'll still react to you. She'll do, like, shield bash and stuff. But she, she won't do anything on her turns. Um, patch 7 has also introduced pathing issues. Um, there's a lot. <laughs> the, the core ability to play the game was negatively impacted by patch 7 in many areas the rel just basically stands there it's weird it's happening in console yeah just patch 7 broke her ai completely me, if I go to Lava Elemental before killing Grim, it will fight me, but not after killing Grim, among several things. Uh, I could see if that works out that way for me, but maybe I'll wait. I haven't experienced that one yet. dragged dash off my bar wasn't quite the plan the reroll rolled a two that's uh very unfortunate i gotta bait his opportunity attack in this round now and i stop rolling like absolute garbage very important
try to escape this way. Garengoth's legendary action negated by Ring of Free Action. Dunno? I wouldn't risk it. Don't have gold on you. That simple. Had a weird thing. Uh, when you save Volo by the dock snack, three enemy up on top of the pile of cinder blocks just went up and down the box for an entire turn and loop for multiple turns. I've seen that happen as well. Not having bloodlust on anymore is unfortunate, but no gold on me, so I'm safe from it. Should be. You can still do other forms of damage to you, and the um, skulls can hit you with confusion. Also damage, so like that's scary. But yeah, just don't have gold on you. You should be fine. War with advantage to shove her and failed, that is very unfortunate. Not unexpected. Heading there. Squeaky clean, nice. Go the other way. Waiting to see if they return to their normal routines. No, no, you gotta spell it right. Slashing resistance. What am I doing?
I just shoot with disadvantage. I have Whispering Promise on. Honestly. Yeah. I'm playing Reeling too. This is a good ace for um, crossbow expert feat in this exact scenario. But this shows the power of Giant Breaker. With that reeling, applying minus two to their attack rolls. So they'd need a 17 to hit me. Switch things up in uh, strange strength. I've got you down one bracket. Back to shooting. Yeah, now you need an 18 to hit me. That was a 17, that ability drain mattered. And now you're dead. This one's still uh, investigating. On I go. Was I not hiding? I was supposed to be. Okay. Eight you over here, do the same thing. The reason why I'm being so squirrely about this is uh, I'm trying not to hit either of the two boulette spawns in this area. Because I'm not quite prepared for that yet. Soon, but not yet. trying to come up with a build idea for crossbow action for a while. Maybe a shadow monk for hunter. I'd want to go nine if if doing doing that, you know? The martial arts die. Like what if you went nine monk three hunter to pick up Colossus Slayer. You go crossbow expert, you go sharpshooter, ballist armor, um, crimson mischief for weapon fighting style. Um, you pump the shit out of dexterity. Maybe even go high cast since that arcane synergy. Just the idea is to get a ton of damage floor onto, like, kind of similar to what you did with uh, that College of Cutting run. Um, offhand hand crossbow shot, and you just sit there, and you just pew, pew. <laughs> Except the pew, pew is a, a massive nuke. That sounds fun to me. Poke with dagger for a while. Try to get the strength bracket. Shift. One more, and then I switch to giant breaker. Nice crit chart. Now you need a 19 to hit me. Hey, I am Groot. Sorry, I should have said I am Groot. I am Groot. I, I am a stupid person. How are you? Oh, 
Oh, I like this range. You can attack me, but I don't have disadvantage from being threatened. There's still one more. Should get some rest. I need to keep sharp. Done a solo honor sorcerer run? I have. If you ever want to see any runs that I've done in the past, uh, that second channel and that link is my uh, stream archive. Unedited bots of uh, every stream I've done the last several years, organized by playlist, including all of my Baldur's Gate 3 channel uh, challenge runs. And I've done, uh, I've done sorcerer stuff too. Uh, the most sorcerer focused one I did was. Uh, I spent the majority of the late game, mid and late game, Act 2 and 3, focused on fire stuff with Scorching Ray, uh, Assassin Dip to auto crit on that, Cleric Dip for gear proficiencies. This was I was playing as Will. Um, we did get very close to one rounding Merkel during the surprise round with that. I think he had like 20, 21 HP left. And we did one round answer during a surprise round with a clicking Scorching Ray. Very fun build. Have to keep going. Right down. Move you up a little bit, you know. Trying to get that range where you can attack me, but I don't have disadvantage with my bow. And we got there. Cool. Element of Sorcerer is your favorite? Probably Cold, just because uh, Draconic Bloodline White um, gets Armor of Agathus in their spell list. And that's uh, a very uncommon spell and one of my favorites. Probably that. Around get coding going. Heading there.
Okay, that's the range. Seven turns of healing. I'm doing a lightning focus build. I've done that before. Lightning is just uh, very, very good in this game. Very easy to scale, even without having a build around it necessarily. Was there a particular concept that uh, that you were thinking of? That's all the hook horrors. 393 left. Yeah, let's start working on the interior of the goblin camp. I was gonna try to save um Leotar's love. But yeah, that's not gonna be important. They're just fighting Raphael while I watch stream. Nice. Matt, what are you doing? Come here. What's your deal? Hello. What do you need? Why are you screaming? We luck, best of luck. Not at all, still kind of new BG3, don't know a lot of builds. Um, so, something that there's really helps, I believe there's a Kevin near you. if you ever want to do, um, thunder, or not thunder, excuse me, lightning or cold based builds, something to know is that if someone is wet, they have three turns of resistance to fire damage and immunity to the burning condition, but they also have three turns of vulnerability to cold and lightning damage. So... You can double up your, your damage from cold and lightning by just throwing a water bottle at someone ahead of time. And it's uh, very, very effective. Simple trick, very useful. I'm trying to figure out what I have the best chances of succeeding Leviatar's love with. It's either succeeding performance, succeeding in intimidation, or failing constitution. I'm wondering if failing constitution is the way to go. Because I only have a plus one con mod. I don't have proficiency. If I heavily encumber myself, I fail constitution. I think I could also... Let's see, that's just ability checks. Disadvantage, not uh, saving throws. Yeah, I'll still go for... I'll still go for using Charisma. It's just I don't expect good results. is a terrible thing wouldn't care to lead myself your um it will be hard to sustain without hitting him hurt. but that's a good idea if i wanted to have disadvantage yeah it's a good idea nemesir how are you sometimes get confused won't show me that character display even when they are wet well it depends on what you're trying to do that to if someone already had resistance, then you're not going to get vulnerability, you're going to get neutrality. So if you throw a water bottle at something that has lightning resistance, then, well, neutrality. Chilling out about you? I'm also chilling. Oh, I have something exquisite in mind. Both Loviatar and I are interested in how you have simply cat 
Stop it. Okay, so because of Fowler, I lose more bonuses here. Thaumaturgy is cancelling out the drunk disadvantage. We don't have Steel Watcher last time, and we got Vulnerability Frost, not the Lightning. Yeah, Steel Watchers are hard-coded that you cannot make them vulnerable to Lightning damage. That is a Steel Watcher thing, as of patch 6. Your voice sounds so sweet, dear one. Keep going. That we live, revel in it. Rolled good. That's it, dear one. Let Leviata hear you. You are doing so it makes well. Makes sense to me. They're made of metal. Do not give in now. In patch six, they increase the difficulty of Steel Watcher encounters by making it so they do not have vulnerability to lightning damage anymore. Um, and as a byproduct of how they implemented that, nothing can give them lightning vulnerability. Before patch six, Steel Watchers were lightning vuln. It made them really fucking easy. So they increase the difficulty. Doesn't have to make sense, it's difficulty. But they were vulnerable. They might still be on lower difficulties, Candy May. I uh, remember my perspective is I only play honor mode, so I can only speak to honor mode. Sweet. I am proud to. We're gonna disguise as a drow. Please. Side. I wanna watch that weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating something up. Oh yeah, beating it good. What? The prisoner? Oh, forget about it. There'll be more of them soon. Just for a somewhere. We'll do it this way. Feel my mistress's wrath. Good. You couldn't make him. Come <laughs> on. 
You only play Origin characters and some custom ones. I've done uh, lots of custom, lots of Origins. I do either. Currently, I'm out to uh, get the evil ending on all Origins, because I want to see all the patch 7 evil endings that were added. Liam. The Anchor Machine, John Normal, Auntie Deathful. Lock picking's not gonna happen. Should get some rest. I need to keep shot. So I cast Fist. That was a fun one. John Normal was the hero of the people. Yeah, John Normal's probably still my favorite. What did I name the level 1 character? Oh, Unable to Level. Yeah. Unable to Level was also a custom. Yeah, never punished. Um, so the way that out of combat heal is supposed to work, Nemesis, NPCs are supposed to have a limited number of times they can do it per day. I want to say it's three, but so I've seen them just kind of blatantly cheat and have more than that. So I'm not at all sure how that works. Kadenos is heal less than nine heals for sure. Ability drained at nine didn't heal anymore. I think it's supposed to be three, but I don't know. No time for Danny. Go for Spider Matriarch. I don't love the idea though. I'd have to use a guileful movement. chilling. Take out this last drum. I could free the spiders. That could lead to XP. I'll kill these guys too, though. This way. Hmm. 
They're willing to walk back, you're not. That's interesting. I guess I do want darkness for dealing with this one. Don't have darkness arrow. Let's see if Rogue Moonglow is selling any. I want to make sure all the drums are dealt with before I start killing goblins out here. Because I don't want Royal Moon Glow to leave the act yet. Need something. Good idea to stock up on those. I think I'll probably be fine on heals for a bit. I prefer Sleet Storm or Wall of Fire for Grove Defense. I'm not sure. I'll buy a Sleet Storm. Because if I don't use it for Grove Defense, I'll use it for Portal Defense. So either way, I'll get value. Oh, Lava Elemental, right. I need Crucible Mater for that. Hmm. Hold off on that. Right. Now that I have Darkness Arrows... wonder if shooting a Darkness Arrow next to it from range and then, like, throwing a hand axe into it would be a good approach. sort that out by coming back over here. Actually, now that all the drums are dealt with, I can just start getting set up up top. thing. So it's warboard. Come quiet, that's the way. Is there hockey to go to camp? I don't know. Doesn't seem to be. Might be able to bind that though. Doesn't seem to be. Just clicking fast, can't see the cam. Oh yeah, I have it behind the, the cam. Yeah, I just have it. So something I really like for dealing with these goblins is grease bottles.
Um, I'm gonna put on poison resist ring in case the big ray of sickness happens. Shouldn't, but be comfortable. Um, we're gonna stick with giant breaker. Yes, titan strings more damage, but titan strings also incredibly fucking boring. So I don't do that. I used mouse keyboard for game before this game to go out of my way to use controller. At different points in my life, I've been more used to one thing versus the other. I definitely feel that. Camera's a little awkward here, I apologize for that. These turns are slow because of the, the grease related run around that I'm doing. It does help keep them locked down. Got spotty lice because of the blood. Doesn't care about cats. Okay. Bleed for me. Man is unbothered. My face will guide me.
Thanks, game, for air bursting my grease. That's a sentence. Yeah, Teal Trooper. Run at the top. Thank you. Don't be a waste. Closer we, 148. Yeah, that's almost the entire goblin camp. This guy doesn't even know he died. There's still a bit of XP by rescuing Saza. I haven't killed Arca and Memnos yet. Will is gonna hate that. But that's next. Your gear just broke one of Raphael's pillars, didn't know that could happen. Oh yeah, yeah. He just does a thunder AoE and he doesn't really consider who's in it. He'll hit you, your allies, himself even. Um, and yeah, those pillars getting destroyed is uh, not good. I wasn't thinking. Trying to save that spot. Running player seems to keep Raphael from doing squirrely stuff. Not really. It's a way of achieving that, but it does something else. So better keep him around, he transforms, but do you know what he does when he's transformed? His fire damage starts ignoring fire resistance. And he gets more things he can do. He can do more things per turn as well. Raphael goes from being a controllable threat to being able to comfortably kill you by himself in one round, even if you have, let's say, 150 HP and fire resistance. That'll happen anytime a pillar gets destroyed. Um, It's a... A beginner mistake for a lot of people, and it's a pet peeve of mine. Uh, this is not directed to you or anyone in particular, but I've seen a lot of people go around in Twitch chats telling people who don't know the Raphael mechanics, yeah, destroy the pillars. Like, no, that's just inviting death. Um, Flint lost a run to a pillar accidentally being d destroyed, um, and it's a perfect example of what can happen because he had the fight completely under control full hp things were going great Raphael almost dead 
a pillar went down from the splash of a smoke powder arrow, Raphael immediately killed him. One round. No, no chance to do anything. Folded dead. And imagine losing an otter mode run like that. This was a solo otter mode run. Where are my boots? So, not worth it. If you're worried about what Raphael can do from the pillars, keep in mind that every one of his uh, damage dealing spells is a dexterity save. So if you have evasion or heavy armor master, or not, excuse me, or shield master, um, those are character features that allow you to, if you succeed at dexterity save, you can reduce the damage to zero. Instead of taking half, you take zero. Um, and with evasion, even if you fail, you take half. So if you have fire resistance and evasion, which is a rogue and monk feature, um, you're taking a quarter of the damage. If you then have, say, damage reduction, let's say you have Zarel's shield for one damage reduction to spells, let's say you had Adamantine splint mail on for another two damage reduction, you're quartering the damage and then reducing it by three more. So you can be pretty safe. Another thing that stops Raphael from being able to um, consume souls from his pillars, just kite him out of the room. If you get him out of the room, the pillars aren't near him, so he can't use them. trying something here. Shouldn't be. But I am. Sasa goes for the illusion. It's funny. Hey Hala, how are you? High spell DC uh, versus Sleet Storm is pretty clutch versus Raphael. Yeah, any form of ice surface is certainly great there. XP. We're gonna freeze Saza, just not yet. Yeah, not doing the tiefling tossing is why I haven't hit level 6 yet. I don't want to bottom out Will's approval too much. Yeah, 
Okay, so here's what we do. That's a just in case equip. Beat hurt, stood for 11 hours yesterday. Got at least half one crit in the lab today. Didn't grace things, sleep in tomorrow. The auto mighty comfy day. I can't complain too much. Once again, good job getting stuff done. You're welcome to rest here. Now, some of you familiar with my runs might be feeling a sense of anxiety with me hanging out in this area. You, you don't have to this time. It's actually okay. I'm still looking to shift some supplies. Don't have much to spare, but it's more than we can carry. Carlac, that's that's what I'm referring to. Carlac's gonna live this run. Rooted will after an extensive tiefling calling. He still left the party after I got out of the Act One area. Not sure why I was so upset with me. Even save the Grove. Did you not recruit Carlac or deal with Carlac in any capacity? That's uh, level six. Insult to injury. <laughs> From the top rope. people off that roof so satisfying yeah me after chipotle one horn this is the devil will has been tasked to kill Oh, fuck me. It's 
you from the Nautiloid. Please tell me I found you before those so-called paladins of Tear did. A group then. Was that? I'm Karlak. I'm Sharp. The latest yappy little dog shit. Already killed him. Did. Won't be seeing my mechanic and the first time I. So, hey, Zariel used to top me up every now and again. Sort of. Next time we find ourselves. We're gonna bring Karlak to Damon. Keep forgetting soul coins exist, maybe next run. They're quite good. I just want to drunk another blow duration to last forever. No, it's until long rest. Minus two should be forever, but that doesn't work properly on everything. So, I'm opting for a minus one. Because I haven't tested minus two on that. Uh, 15 or so just lying around there's like 15 to 20 in the game total so you have 15 you uh you've been looting hey soldier take I don't think I've ever felt more powerful I right, plan on romancing a star in this run. Or vampire perks. Yeah, we'll be going that route. Sooner rather than later would be good. That that yeah, well, of course. What's on your mind? The Blade of Frontiers? Yeah, he's been on my tail for ages. Thank you. Believe it or not, that's all I see. Soldier? Ah, oh, come on. Oh. Alright, next time on Long Rest, Will's gonna notice that Karlak is in the camp. The first time I saw you, but you... Yeah, shut up, Will. He's mad because I killed some tieflings, and he wants to kill a tiefling. It's the whole thing. Um, but I can level up now. Let's do that. So my options are going for second level of cleric, uh, getting some extra spell slot progression. Um, but that'd mostly be a filler before getting third level of cleric, or I could do a first level of a rogue, which gets me sneak attack. Um. Kind of, kind of feeling that. Because I can, I can still use Thaumaturgy for advantage on the Karnas checks and have a pretty good chance of still succeeding there. So we're going to go lo one level of Rogue here. Now I could pick up Sleight of Hand Expertise to help, help offset that I have <laughs> disadvantage. Um, I probably want to go Athletics Expertise. Persuasion Expertise. Rogue is so good. Like, how do people look at this class and say it's not good? Ah, everything about it. Mm. Um, actually, instead of athletics, I'm gonna go intimidation and persuasion expertise because intimidation will be good for anything I'm doing thaumaturgy with, and um, persuasion will be vendor prices and also some checks. Athletics, I'm already good enough at. Getting more proficiency in stealth doesn't do anything. Light of hand I can neglect. Perception almost doesn't matter. Mm. 
because the whole thing is very accurate. <laughs> intimidate extra hard. Being extra hard is intimidating. I guess I do go with these as my prepared. So, I'll drop healing word just in case. Yeah. Wide stance. That's that DOS 2 elf stance. How do you even do anything with this stance? Respect later for 3 ranger? Uh, yeah. Yeah. For now, I'm 4 ranger to have alert. Once I hit level 7, I'm gonna respect down to 3 ranger. Shit, that crab stance. I'm mature. Um. Morning, Urban Mech. Okay, now the vendors have reset, I can go check everyone again. Uh, we're level 6 without having interacted with. You get Yankee without having to, uh, without having, um, done the whole Bawal thing, without having killed too many of the Gwargar and Grimforge. I mean, I suppose that's not true. I did kill, like, half of them. He flashed back to Broly and Omni-Man. Listen, they knew what they were doing, giving Omni-Man an entire intergalactic wagon to drag. Like, if they didn't want Omni-Man's juicy dumper to become a meme, they wouldn't have given it to him. That's all I'm saying. Nice Which XP comes from the Mage Tower without killing the robots? Uh, Trade's Sheet would know. I don't know offhand. You know, Shardy got low, low, low. <laughs> nice. Um, I could steal a skeleton's bow. Um, makeshift bow is quite, quite strong. Accuracy would be a problem for a while, though. Something to consider. Insane leg strength to keep that pose. True. The uh, impressive stuff. We're pretty much ready for Grove Defense now. Um, I was hoping Roa had a Wall of Fire scroll. I can always check Blurred. I don't know why I go out of my way to hit level 6 for Grove Defense. I just like it. I didn't loot the Toll House. There's a ton of money down there. I can wait. Do that when I actually need more money. Um, I'll need to save Luck of the Far Realms for knocking out Volo. Maybe. No, I could cast Sleep. Have a Sleep Scroll. Let me buy another one. With trying to do the Raphael XP thing, and also trying to do the Voss XP thing, um, 
that means I um end up in a situation where Vola will draw the ire of people in my camp and I need to knock him out before they kill him. Well that's something I have to plan forward. Pleasure. Around. So many good fighting styles, none of which Paladin has access to. They they get defense and the uh, and dueling. Mm, that's it. <laughs> the intellect devour after the crash. Should I skip them? I usually skip them until later. I didn't on this run because I was feeling icy. But there's you get nothing for fighting them early except very high chance of a very quick reset. They are terrifying. Light scroll, yes please. Light storm scroll, yes please. No wall of fire, really? That's fine. I'm just surprised. Under minor elemental. Azer Warhammer on this build? Maybe. More stuff to do with my bonus action. Or champion for two weapon and archery. Um, I was actually thinking about I kind of want to do just for the sake of optimizing the worst fighter subclass. I do kind of want to do a battle master run, and I was thinking about it. Nine monk, three battle master isn't the craziest option. Because it would give you meme things, like you could range disarm people. You'd have repost. Um, you could um, push attack people with hand crossbows. Now, you can already do that with Roaring Thunder Arrow, and it's much more efficient to do so, but the memes. Uh, but yeah, you could just go with Fighter for extra feats. Like, you want two feats for Crossbow Expert and possibly Sharpshooter, but more likely Crossbow Expert plus Alert. Third feat would open up Sharpshooter not being a terrible option. Um, but then if you're fighter, you can get four. Um, but yeah, pure class fighter is also just really good for lots and lots of things. Um... Will be no point in lingering now I've got the noble stock. A potion of flying. Having potion of flying and purple worm toxic for grove defense seems crazy. I almost want caustic band. Almost. this
Yeah, that works fine. Yeah, that should work fine. Hey, Urban Mech, thank you for the 45 months. It's a long time. Hopefully Texas speech comes through. Wait for this. Hey, Bitwise Bart. She's just a girl and she's on fire. There you go, Quack. Carrion Crawler, Kuadl, Arenaes, Glabrezu, Dragonae, Eden, Ixitexakiel. Didn't enunciate very much. I was kind of disappointed on that one. Not Texas Speech's best work. Thank you so much, as always. 8 Fighter, 4 Ranger, 4 Feats, 3 Fighting Styles. Juicy. I like that. And like, you wouldn't get improved extra attack, but you'd be able to have either bonus action hide from Gloomstalker or Colossus Slayer slash Horde Breaker from Ranger. That's pretty spicy. I like that. Did I kill Palma? Thought I did. I may not have. I should go check on that. I wonder if Halson can trip that exploration spot the same way Will can. I hope not. I was thinking about it and I can't decide what's more likely. I thought I thought you were doing eight times as punch drunk as launching enemies. No. Uh doing uh trickery stuff. You really need three fighting styles? No, but it's funny. But getting archery, two weapon, and defense is pretty good. For example. I was wondering what was happening there. Giant Breaker so much. Could 
be using um, Gloves of Power to reduce the rolls further. Champion's extra fighting style is a 10 anyway, rip. Aww. Fighter 6, Paladin 2, Ranger 4, get all three fighting styles. Paladin, but yeah, no, that, that would be a way of getting fighting stuff. Um, Swords Bard gets uh, either archery or two weapon, so that's an option too. Possible, not optimal. <laughs> you go like Swords Bard. Six. Ranger four, Fighter two. Fighter six, Bard four, Ranger two. I would want Bard five so that uh, Bardic Inspiration die come back on a short rest rather than a long rest, personally. And then if you're going 5, you may as well go 6 to pick up extra attack there. Campaign at level 6. Every fighter subclass gets uh, an additional feat at level 6. Subclass feature is level 7 for fighter. Champion gets remarkable talent, athlete, which is uh, Bard's Jack of All Trades, but it's for strength and dex specifically. And then also you get 50% more jump distance. Or, it's not 50%, it's, uh, you get an amount more jump. Gloom would mitigate not having alert. It would. Also, bonus action hide is real nice. Superior dark vision. It would do a little bit to mitigate not having improved extra attack as well. long rest. Look, we also had assassin. One horn, the stink of Avernus, Advocatus Diaboli. We'll all be gods damned. Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Karlak. The Archdevil Zeriel's Zeriel. I was waiting for that. The sword cut. I got you the f I am the will. And yet you serve. No! Damn! Uh, I Blood 
will source sense. Even more. Worth talking to, perhaps. You've been witness to a pantomime. I'm sorry to. One night soon, and. Love this campsite. Considering how rarely I actually use Volo as a vendor, I'm considering doing the Volo eye surgery. Though it would mean no Auntie Ethel's charm, and I hate that. Why isn't Will horny? Uh, I like doing things differently for the sake of doing it sometimes. I'm already level 6, so I'm not super stressed about the Bawal XP. Um, I have the Infernal Alloy, so the Infernal Iron isn't a bottleneck. Strats to kill the Paladins without disarming them, so I don't ever need to kill Karlak that way anymore. And this is not a run where I'm using Infernal Rope. That was the deciding factor. Sure, it's better to get it and then sell it, but I don't need to do that either. Who wants to talk to me? Is there Volo? Where does Lazel even hang out in this camp? Like, I don't actually know. Oh, over here. Cool. Where's a starry? I'll just have her walk to him. Nothing hey like Coffee, how are you? Drama to spice up the hey Luke. Barbarian build always pops in my mind first. Think of Drunken Bill, curious about Claire. Barbarian doesn't have any more synergy with drunkenness than any other class does. But maybe answers. If Hear me out. I'll let you cook. Why do this? Why do what? The cheeks are back. Hey, look respectfully, Lady Baker. She's just comfortable. What'd you do to Pookie? I didn't do anything. Scratch so we get will approval. Maybe I should have waited to do that by Starian. As long as I pick my dialogue options, I should still be fine on that. Lies? I, I don't know what we're talking about. The Starian? He is a natural beauty. He's never had work done. Welcome back. Ever. Welcome back. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Oh, Cloud Giant Finger this early. Love to see that. for a little while. I think it's the easiest class multi-class to do a solo honor with. That's going to depend on your preferences and play style. Like, some people really like playing martial classes and don't like casters, and some people are the opposite. Those two people are going to have wildly different experiences on the easiest martial and the easiest caster. So on and so forth. Um, I think there's too many moving parts there for me to quantify easiest. Now I can give you some examples of simpler classes to manage. For example, it's very hard to die when playing an Abjuration Wizard, um, and you don't ever really have to worry about option paralysis when playing a Champion Fighter. 
those are good beginner classes. Gloomstalker is very popular because you don't ever really need to worry about resources. Managing initiative is easier. Gloomstalker Ranger, that is. You're proficient with anything you want to use, much like with Fighter. So, those are those are three options. Different schools of thought would probably label best, but um, that's easiest. Labels like that are not going to really give you any good information without context. I still need to do more rests. No partial rest. The other day I said Claire was the most attractive person in Night City. Since met Denny. Batchet, you are cultured. You are cultured as hell. I appreciate your taste. She's Plus one. Again. I don't think there's any overlap between the three melee fighting styles, excluding hand crossbows. Um... Well, you've been naughty. No. And you know it's like you can't meaningfully benefit naughty. from God's great weapon. And, no, they're, they're all mutually exclusive. I suppose if you... If you're doing some sort of setup where you went in, let's say you had the dual wielder feet. You had a versatile weapon in your main hand and something else in your offhand. You could bonus action stab with your offhand, benefit from two weapon fighting style, and then unequip it as a free action, and then swing your two handed weapon benefit from great weapon fighting style Karlak meets the I'll criteria sign, by, the way. by virtue of having no heart will burns yeah, will's horny I'll you're not special, Will. Mizora was here, we all saw her. Um, been a long time since some got God just uh, not all our pets tend to be unforgiving from what you know of them. I it but I promise you. But I don't have a clue where to start. The only way out. We Farming will approval too. Uh, I've got enough approval that I could maybe get away with tossing a couple tieflings now. Two hander squared build. <laughs> now that I mentioned that, I kind of really like the idea actually. Like it sounds funny. Because you could do, let's say before a fight, you Fowler or Louvre Shriek. Fowler or your main hand weapon. Um, then, on your first turn, you offhand stab, benefiting from two weapon fighting style. Um, then you unequip it. And then you swing Fowler or Louvre, benefiting from... Great weapon fighting style. Let's say you did a reaction smite or sneak attack or colossus slayer or something. That would be another nice layer there. I, I like the idea. An earlier patch when Mazora showed up to make Will Horny, she bugged out for me, wouldn't open her wings. She spent the whole conversation cocooned. I love everything about that. No notes. That's cinema. I see you, but you're desperate to be rid of Dream it. Guardian shows up looking like she's about to try to sell me some crystals. But you're looking for solution. 
The parasites are merely a symptom of a group they but were it not for my protection. Health. You or essential oils. <laughs> Um, full Beastmaster Ranger for Crossbow Expert, uh, point blank and staring strikes so the spider goes ham and untangle enemies while I stand there with ballast armor. Cool concept. You'd have long duration gaping wounds. You'd be able to do a snaring strike, hold them in place. Yeah, that's a cool concept. I like it. I think I'm out of rest events now. It gave me another gift, too. Just like. And while we're. Now, was there anything else? You have no idea what damage it could do to us. How fu- well, and they I had assumed our parasite served a gaith elder, but I- a fi Whatever this voice, whomever this master. Alright, Lazel's a fan of mine now. Farm and approval. Tech wizard and cyberpunk spawn a contagion to triple short circuit is so toxic. Uh, yeah, Sora. So they nerfed contagion, like, heavily, and of course stupid people complained about that. But even, like, Contagion in the state you're experiencing it is a shadow of what it used to be. And it's still incredibly busted. Like, Contagion is crazy. <laughs> um... Okay, so let's free Saza. I want to make sure I get enough bombs from Dareth, though. The idea is we free Saza, inform Minthar of Grove location and stuff. Maybe I do the Draraxlan dialogue. Like, I'll be rolling with disadvantage. I have plus 8 persuasion. I'm kind of willing to sink a couple inspo there. So maybe I shouldn't be. Let me look at Accolade Inspiration real quick. Because I want to be at 4 Inspiration uh, when it's Karnas time. That, that's my main concern at the moment. Uh, also, I need to uh, reapply the Drunk condition. What am I doing? For gore. There we go. Um, Alright, Acolyte. Uh, resurrect anyone in your party. I got that from resurrecting Gale after I killed him. Um, Learn about Maglubiat and safely free his priest. Okay, that's an option. Um, Becoming Maklumpa is one. Guess maybe I don't necessarily need Bilal's benediction. Hmm, there's an interesting idea. Reading the Book of Dead Gods. I picked up that book. And that's it there. Okay. The bankable one. Um... Finding Olam's journal. Yeah, he who was is one. Now Shadowheart can uniquely um, talk to Isabel and get the blessing without triggering the Marcus fight. That's something I can do. That's also an inspiration. Okay. A bit for pistols, there are a lot of them that look cool. Yeah, 
There's so many cool things. I probably... This is most likely something I do in January, but I'm probably going to bring back Variety Day so I can do a, uh, a new Cyberpunk run on stream. No point in lingering now. I've got the noble stock. Oil of combustion. I like it. Buy guy for movement, actually. It's another cloud giant finger. Would love to see it. Actually, I don't need to buy guy for movement. I can have Brennan craft some. I'll still bag it up, but. for Brenda to do some crafts. Watching Cyberpunk at night is so much better than what I expected. Have you been watching um, someone do a, a playthrough, Roxy? Yeah? I really love that game. It's genuinely a good game that just had a bad rap. It had a really rough launch and... It never should have released on last-gen consoles. Um, so anyone who played on those consoles had a rough experience. Um, and it was unrefined. But in terms of the player experience that I had, better than every Bethesda release I've ever played. Um, and I played it on launch day. It was always a game I enjoyed, and then post-launch support made it a really, really good game, in my opinion. Vessel. This low bar, low bar. Do you need to play through a little overwhelmed by all the options? It's not explained well. I can totally relate to that experience. Yeah. Didn't go into my patch, did it? Did it? And to Brenna. Bryn is level 3 currently. I can assign 3 more levels. Give her 3 levels of Bard now. We get Enhance Ability. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Welcome back, GG. Point in lingering now. I've got the noble stock. They can do wonders, but I should be checking blurt too. I want a wall of fire scroll. Sleet storm will do the job too. It'll just be slightly slower. We're gonna put all that away.
got everything there? Super fast. Will be no point in lingering now I've got the noble stock. Take those, don't take that. This is likely gonna get to the point where I'm just using invis pots as bonus action hide. We'll see. That'll be very expensive, but it's still likely. These prices are awesome, by the way. 14 Charisma, Persuasion, Expertise. Unfortunately, Shadowheart only gets advantage on the, the roll for Nightsinger's favor. She does not automatically get it. Clerics of any other evil deity get it for free. Cleric of Shar does not. Just advantage. Now, thinking about it, that's probably because deep down she's not all that good a Shar. Um... And it's probably related to how clerics of Saluna just fail it. Seems like an awful god to worship. Oh yeah. Welcome back. Like objectively, why why the fuck? If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Uh, just seeing what Char does to her own followers should be like, maybe maybe this isn't for me. But then the tenets of of the faith are just like, hmm. Uh, I don't I don't know about. Any of any of that. What could they accomplish? Have to keep pushing. Will be no point in lingering now I've got the noble stock. book talks about how easily she forsakes her devout followers and, uh, followers and leaves them to oblivion. Book breaks my heart every playthrough. Yeah, Shar sucks. Just for many reasons, Shar is simply the worst. Specifically, and you're just gonna see him on from the outside. Let's not be judgmental. Needs low effort shit posts. Three out of ten. You can do better. Will be no point in lingering now. I've got the noble stock. Garrett didn't have too much of what I'm after, but she had an acceptable amount. I'm at least doing law and bombs now. Like no wall of fire from Blurg, I can still check Roa Moonglow. Well 
come back. Uh, but if she doesn't do have one either, then uh, if anything in my private collection is to your liking, we'll just do Sleep Star. since Forgotten Realms gods show, draw strength from the amount of worshippers. Yeah, like, that, that shines a light on how Ballists are just actually stupid, as is Ball, because they're very pro culling their own ranks. Like, okay, but you, you're you weaker now. Like, yeah, there's the philosophical, yeah, only the strongest survive. Yeah, sure, but like, you're you're literally weaker now. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. Need something. A wall of fire. Just gotta manifest it. Black has ever got her godhood. Would she be worse than Shara to worship? She's also pretty awful. I don't think she would. I don't think she'd be worse than Shara. This is not be saying Black at this good, but like Black at's whole eating people's souls thing, that's because she's not yet a deity. Other than that, her portfolio is just kind of like wanting the Gith Yankee to conquer shit. Like, okay. I don't think she would be any worse than, say, Lull, which is a Gith Yankee equivalent of Lull. Um, who, you know, Lull is super evil, but in terms of impact, I think Shar is a bigger threat. Goes Owl's Wisdom. Rena, we have to cook. salts. It's awkward. Need more salts, need more ashes. giant but I could wait. No time to dally. Maybe it's like that Jet Li movie, the one that movie kicks ass by the way. Um or all the children <laughs> share the same life force and the fewer people means more power per person. I mean that's kind of how it worked in BG two actually, Batchet. But the cult of Baal is more than just the children of Baal, is the thing. 
and Baal himself gets weaker when he, his cult is smaller. I right, switch to Brenna. She's a halfling. Uh, halfling luck, rerolling ones. The War of the Spider Queen series of books are actually pretty entertaining. I read them years ago as a kid. I wonder how they'd hold up. Do it. Reread. I'm a huge fan of revisiting uh, literature that you're fond of. Um. Now to decide whether I get Ethel's Well on this rest. I don't think I do. I think I'll do a False Life Scroll. So the idea on this rest is we are going to free Saza and give Minthara the grove location. And we are going to kill Draglin and everyone else in the Gotland camp. And then we're going to do Grove Defense. Why am I here? I'm not trying to go that way. your character to death it's a bit of godliness no it's not at all it's a wizard spell black ape is simply a high level wizard he's a high level wizard who bypasses the great cost of the wish spell by using the souls of her followers to the wish spell. Yeah. If you wish for anything beyond the bounds of, like, wishing to cast a different spell, then there is a chance you lose the ability to cast wish ever again, and you also get some intense physical backlash for a while. But she grant powers to clerics by gaslighting them to thinking they're clerics and not warlocks. I don't know if that one's canon, but that's my answer. Ready to go. I must keep going. So the Find Donnie quest I won't bother with because since everyone in the Inner Sanctum is dead, there is no one to have the conversation with Donnie. So the quest won't work. He'll just stand there. Ah, thought I wasn't good to be free again. Go some lore and apparently she's literally the only gift allowed to know the gate spell that allows them to traverse the planes. She wants to literally gatekeep them. <laughs> Makes sense. I'll tell the guards what's what. And she teleports.
I might actually kill the checkpoint because I need work things. Well, I don't actually. I need ashes. I need ashes. Make more bloodlust. So let's let's resolve that. Because um, I want bloodlust for Dora Axel. Ruby, no point in lingering now. I've got the noble stock. What even makes ashes? Uh, this, right? Dragon egg mushroom. Okay. Penalties for wish is basically the spell rock condition you get in the Undercity. Ouch. That sounds unpleasant. The safe to kidnap improvised melee, uh, Rose, Friends, and Moonrise. They all three of them are tied together initiative wise, so wherever you get in combat with the other ones, that they will all know. So be aware of that. This Nice outfit, thank you. Oh, I need salt. It was salt, I think. Okay. In game, I mean. Yeah, I'm wearing the same thing. Just under my clothes. We'll be clearing. No point in lingering now, I've got the noble stock. Bead pot. I could use another feather fall. We'll make jump just for flexibility. Sharpness. Accuracy. You know, same bottoms? Yes. Two pairs on, actually. Got a double bag. One theory out there is that Blackest clerics actually get their power from Tiamat. That makes sense. I like that theory. Do the glorious work nap, how we doing? Uh, getting ready for Grove Defense. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick and we'll, uh, Really getting into our pro.
Okay, I'm back. Boop time? Not this time. I'll let you know, though. Eight initiative. Let me long strider myself. Of the elf. You ever talk to a dead squid? De you realize that the weapon the hobgoblin speak. Then take. You read the hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Ravens. You feel Ragslin's suspicions. A true soul should never ask about the master. Like you, suspicion floods Rags and the the you're in. She, She's mounting an Hey, I accidentally picked the optimal crew. combo. Cool. Yeah, I forgot Cleric has a route through that dialogue. No checks. Insanely common Cleric W. Tentacles are, I think. Wait, I've seen this one. This is a classic. Despawn Nandara. My understanding is correct. Now that Minthara is despawned, take on Draraglan at my leisure. just the top ones no i don't know but that's not what i did so maybe there's multiple on him. Let's 
a fire surface. Talk to me. Requirement for Dark Urge. I can kill a romance character in Act 2 only after the Shadow Fell. If you are, if Scleritus has told you to kill Isabel, and you long rest after the shadow fell without having done so. Right. I want to start working my way towards Call the Weak and Backlash. Build Brawls is attractive though. The Concentrator Blast. Oh, Good. Off I go. I already took all these goblins. No time to waste. Great, I think. I oh, don't know, some of them. These three are still here. Take a tack crypt. Got the rats. This parade doesn't like when I kill them. Looks like a trap there. I 
Yeah, this trap doesn't actually blow up when you fail. Oddly. Inspo. I don't know what you have to actually do for the inspo here. I'm gonna pause the guy because I know that's XP. I have to keep low. Need to press upward. I mean, Thara didn't miraculously appear here again, did she? No. Yeah, if you're setting up grove defense, if you just leave the area and come back, Minthara will have despawned. Um, so that lets you safely clear out the rest of the camp without uh, worrying about getting her involved. Being drunk doesn't give disadvantage on attack rolls, even flat debuff, just ability checks. In fairness, charisma and dexterity are really rough ones to have disadvantage on. So when it matters, it matters a lot. Need to keep going. Unseen. Perfect. Go talk to the dude before you free him. Ah, I'll have to try that next time. Thank you. for an extended period of time. I don't have anything to use it on. I'm just gonna have to hold it because I don't want to build bad habits, but totally should have used it against Fur Island. Gauge. Looks like good luck. Be sharten. Start had a couple of wine coolers, and this is the result. for the third Sundering. Listen, you never know. Alright, everyone here is dead. Need the returning pike from Lazelle? Those limited use items are for later. Exactly. Should 
surely there will come a day where I need all of it equally. That's that's just the day I'm preparing for. It's all calculated. Go to the Mycanon Colony, get Shield of Faith. Go to the Tea House, get, um, refreshed. For defense. Rest must wait, Shadow. I know the gift. Tell me what you are doing with it. Unimportant. And go Shh. You have lied about the heirloom. A sorry tale. Barely worth interrogating you. Hmm. A creation of my people. Though I cannot decipher writing this ancient. Keep it. Do what you will with it. Purification is my mission, but beware. Rest. See, um, this kind of ties in with the conversation we had last stream, where, it's like, Lazelle's just gonna be straight with you. Well, not in the case of these two, hey -oh. Um, but she's just gonna be honest with you. with your look at the fart realms. Not your best work, but it is still good work. Psychic spark. Will be no point in lingering now. I've got the noble stock. That's the last cloud giant finger I need to actually have a cloud giant elixir. Mm -hmm. I don't think I use that here, but super nice to have. Hopefully how far into level 10 should I be before Shadowfell to get 11 before Merkle? I've never been this far in a solo run before. So, there's about 5,700-ish, up to like maybe 6,000, depending on other factors, um, XP in the Mind Flare colony. Um, then, if you are doing the Jail fight underneath Moonrise after saving Aelin, that's... Oh, I'll use round numbers here. It's around another 2,000. And if you're doing Shadowfell Balthazar fight, that's about another 1,000. So, you have all of that. And there's a little bit from freeing Aelin. There's a little bit more if you kill some Harpers and Flaming Fists, um, provided they're invading Moonrise. Um... 
So you could say if you're about 10,000 experience off when clicking the enter the Shadowfell button, you could potentially still have it free Merkle. As long as you got everything left. But this would be down to the wire. Scale 1 to 10, how important is getting speed on the auto aid? Not important at all. I should really get fire resistance, but make it work. No time to waste. Not sure this is common knowledge or not. Able to fight the group, get bail if it there isn't toxic orgasm. Never able to fight them, maintain their XP. Yeah, what we usually do, white freeze, is destroy the door and then attack them before triggering the cutscene, and that allows you to fight them. Take a look. Who's sight gone? Ah, oh, damn it, damn it. Unseen as I was taught, unnoticed. Good. Calm and quiet, that's the way. Let's see what I can spirit away. Gearing up his Evelor for multiple fights. other barrel. 
have two, but I'm gonna be lazy about it. You've actually fought goblins before, haven't you? So have you, if I'm not mistaken. That wasn't that's not the same. I was terrified the whole time. <laughs> Sounds exactly the same then. Well, Sony. What happened? We've seen them massing and we threw them back once. We'll blow the horn to drop. Make. Somewhere this lazy, so they won't be quiet about it. No, there isn't. Barrels may be a problem. this way. Okay, start. Up up to Zevlor. Zevlor, don't fireball yourself. Up to 19, that's not great. Make good progress. You're burning, I have bloodlust off of you if Ashrak doesn't kill you.
luck depending on the growth. Thanks, Urban Mike. Up this turn right there. That's uh that's pretty great. You got through, but that's fine. I try to have Shovel position this barrel in a way where that blur won't get killed by it. Plus. Okay. Good fireballs, Evlor. Insane stuff. Uh, sir? What the fuck? Zevlor! What the fuck? You dragged the speed. <laughs> Never mind, he cancelled out the good play with just the worst play. Alright. Fine, fine. I really thought jumping would help him. And then he just walked back through. Okay. AI is something else. Get some rest, Hollow. Good miss. Super confident in that kill again. Fighters have good deck saves. I feel love Zevlor. Could have gone way worse, actually. Very okay with that. I'm actually going to use a second level spell slot to heal him, Lord Zevlor. Shot Asherak. Good shit, Elegus. Actually using healing spells? Yeah, crazy, huh? Uh, 
that's a lot, Minty. Can you... She's doing a lot to that. Or... Crit missed both of his shots. <sighs> Alright. He's gonna go lethargic. Not this turn. Or after. Qualifier is getting fewer kills than I like. Fortunately, the ogre had to start very far back. Our problem is Anthara might get killed. We'll have to see how things end up working out. Shovel. Use my bonus action here to drink a Featherfall Pot. Plan is to switch to Strength Elixir next turn and then throw the Returning Pike to equip it. is gonna go lethargic. Should stop him from causing too much trouble. Haste spores are gone. Tara probably gets in. This coming turn. The like wound seeker equip makes a lot of sense for the accuracy. Seeker. All right, let's see if I can uh, manage to save Minty. Hey, Wales, thank you for the tier three again in the 16 months. I appreciate you immensely. Thank you so much. Let's refresh Leap. Apply Sharpness. Love Wind Seeker so good. Had a heated Don't Make Your Cleric a Healer convo. Were people saying that that's Cleric's role again?
Zevler used the other speed pot. I, uh, I don't actually like that. I should have only given him one. Don't know shit about the game. Huh? Like... Huh? What, what was what was the assertion? Who are you even talking to? Yeah, I'm kind of curious about that too. Like... <laughs> I get revealed. Okay. Hope there's still a little more AC. second playthrough in another tab. Hmm. People argue about stupid verifiable facts like the number of infernal iron available in Act 1. Anti-intellectuals don't want to be accurate. They want you to be wrong when they feel threatened by you knowing more about something than they do. That's all it is. Trying to help her make Shadowheart good. And let me guess, someone who thinks they're hot shit because they just completed... Uh, full party tactician using barrels on every boss decided that Shadowheart has to be a life cleric. Disclaimer, there's no wrong way to play the game, there's no wrong way to have fun. But claiming something is better than something else, well, you're entering to an area where objective reality asserts itself. See what Mithara does. Do life domain rest after every battle to do less healing than throwing potions? <laughs> it's like. Hit the exploration spot. Did I? We'll have to see. First honor mode clear, a dedicated healer life clear. Obviously, learns since the end of time to really see why it feels strong. And that's a different metric. If something feels strong, if something feels good, and something worked for you, that's totally fine. It's fine to say that. But if you are running around saying that something is better than something else, well, be prepared for people who know what they're talking about to have something to say.
easy example. I think that, um... Gaunter Mail is a very cool weapon. The legendary bow in, in Act 3. Got a lot of cool utility applications. It does have more damage than most bows. It's a cool weapon. And I prefer using it to, say, the Titan String Bow. But if I were to open my mouth and say that it does more damage than the Titan String Bow, I would be lying. <laughs> a matter of I like versus this is how it works. My first playthrough without a healer, what do you mean potions aren't good enough? Who the fuck would say potions aren't good enough? This is another, like, you haven't actually played the game take. Like, no one who has played Baldur's Gate 3 would say healing potions aren't good enough. Oh, I accidentally hit the exploration. That's fine. Getting 95 out of it instead of 10. The grove stands. Nature pro But the grove still stands, even if she... Yeah, okay. Yeah, Allison's here because Cog is dead. We sent it to camp, kind of new to the game. Uh, why did I send what to camp? Grimy Reaper. Also, welcome. Um, the loot that I picked up, so that, uh, carry weight. I can only carry so many things. Titan so stupid, even Reddit argues very little about it. Yeah. <laughs> Roland. Good shit post. Well done. Big Bow of the Banshee any day over Titan String, personally. Bow of the Banshee has awesome crowd control utility. It's got applications as a stat stick. Um... And it's more fun, in my opinion. So yeah, I agree. Not a life cleric, uh, and my second auto run just felt like I was missing damage encounters could have been over already. That's because that's exactly the case. I should buy a hunting shortbow from Damon. The reason I even have Titan Strings, my dirt is 30 strength and modded equipment other than that, eh. Even if you had a strength score of 1, Titan String Bow out damages nearly every other weapon in the game. Even if your strength score was, I'm not saying a modifier of plus 1, I'm saying if your strength score was literally the number 1. That's how broken that item is. It's, um, it's not something I'm a huge fan of. Trident for disarm? Yeah. Was I supposed to even buy the thing I was here for? Having a healer is planning for failure, which I don't do. I'm currently playing a life cleric on the co-op run that I'm doing, where it's a, it's a duo where neither of us are allowed to do damage. So I'm a healer to keep us alive because combats are longer, to keep NPCs that we're buffing up alive, to keep our non-undead summons alive, because... Fights take longer due to us literally not being allowed to do damage. But if we were allowed to do damage, there would be no need for it. <laughs> that's that's the thing. What do you think of opening a card in Baldur's Gate? And even if you are in a situation where you are taking damage every turn, you would have to have your team attacking itself, like your party members and summons attacking each other for that to outpace healing potions. 
very, very easy example. I have a lot of HP right now, thanks to Auntie Ethel's well. But even with this, potions of greater healing still heal a huge percentage of my HP with this super stupid buffed HP that I've got going on. 12 con, um, classes with good hit die, and then Ethel's well for an extra 10. Like, this potion of greater healing, which you can get several free copies of and then just craft and buy at level 1, this covers you. And the next tier of healing potions available, what, level 7? Um, in terms of consistent supply? So, like... <laughs> If you're a class with extra attack, you can throw two potions and then drink one. Also, the other thing to, to address is that if you want your cleric to be capable of healing, you still don't need to build them as a healer. I cast Healing Word on Zevlor during that Grove Defense fight. I'm not a life cleric, I'm not a healer build, I just kept healing word prepared and used it in an emergency because remotely healing someone with my bonus action is utility that I can't do by throwing a potion. I would have to put a potion on the ground, drag it over to them, shoot it with an offhand hand crossbow, which I don't have equipped. Level 3 spell wrecked by small potion. Healing word is so bad that it was buffed in 2024, changed from 1d4 um, or sorry, uh, the other one was, was buffed. They, um, they shifted the, the die, if I remember correctly, so that it's the same potential max, but across twice as many die, so your average is less likely to be shit. Could knock out house, and I don't want to. I already cleared out the grove, or the, the goblin camp, rather. We're ready to head to your wounds. Yeah, Are that. You? Excellent. Do wish both the mansion would give its damage bonus to other things, like does the accuracy bonus. <laughs> well, I have good news for you. It does. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they toast for saving so many lives. Oh, one's going down. I gotta turn my other light on. Give me a second. I hate it. This is awful. Still, I would have liked more for my. It's See, all I want is a little fun. By the and off with you. Damn Just it. To be clear. I mean, can you imagine? All right, we're not becoming a vampire. <laughs> I need a pet scratch near him. Okay, this just means we're sacrificing him. It's fine. That that resolves an entire other problem I had. This means as soon as we get the strength potion from Mirage. Shards on her fem cell arc, I guess. Uh, who 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 else is who else is into it? My Carla. And with good potations too. All I need now is a fire retardant lover to get lost in till sunrise. The uh, romance Carla last run variety. Um, Will definitely doesn't like me. Is El again? I have seen yet. I I mean to taste it. Given our history, can't believe you're asking. Can't believe I'm saying yes. <laughs> what did you do to Starin's face? Nothing. We'll say having no designated healer for my duo tactician run's been nice. Starin only spells an emergency. Other than that, we have enough healing pots. The spell is almost not needed. Yeah, like, you don't need to do it. This is going to be a blanket assertion from someone who doesn't like making blanket assertions, but this one is clear-cut enough that, you know, that that's just how it works. If someone is telling you you should have a healer, they are attributing 
problems they had because of their choices to situation situations the game is imposing on you. They made some sort of massive error that caused some resources to need to be spent on healing. And they were most likely unaware of how good healing potions are, likely due to not fucking reading. But if someone is telling you that healing is ever optimal as a build archetype in vanilla Baldur's Gate 3, they have not played Baldur's Gate 3. That's just, the game is not balanced to that. Could you imagine if an RPG that was meant to pull in a wider audience and have lots of uh, build options and playstyle diversity, could you imagine if it was balanced like an MMO, the Trinity MMO, you know, tank DPS healer, where, where you need a healer, unless you're, like, top percent of player, people would fucking hate that. It would be bad game design, it would be bad business, it would be stupid. So the game isn't balanced that way. It's very simple. Also, yes. yes. When you lie down for the night, I will come. And oh. I will take what is mine. Oh, oh, you, you were, you were saying... Hey, that's one. How are you? Alright, the enemies to lovers arc. Gith train relentlessly. Let me show you. Close your eyes and submit. The shadow art specific option. Okay, glad to hear. But um, back in the the build crafting discussion, I'm not saying it's wrong to want to set up a character as a healer. There is no wrong way to have fun. Just do not impose your own failings on other people by saying that they need a healer because they don't. Open. Taste. It's canon, okay? You've seen the way they look at each other and try to kill each other. Lower. Okay, you enough for you. It's time to rise. Dawn is upon us. Of course you did. I'm as extraordinary in bed as I am on the battlefield. My every bro. Fire for watching on it work. Nothing happened. The journey specifically. Shut up, Halson. Any who linger are twisted by the long. If you can find this place, I'll wager it. I don't know. Catherick's followers were defeated. You've already been. I've long sought to return. Do you know? Oh, I forgot to get rid of um that. That's fine. It doesn't matter. I mean, fire needs more time to play BG3. <laughs> They're just roommates. Yeah, yeah. Uh, platonic besties. Was 23 HP. Where does Halson stand in the Grimforge camp? I guess I could go find that out. There's an actress that's skill issue for not being cleric a healer and got mad and explained why it wasn't good. I mean, here's the thing about unreasonable people. This is true on the internet, this is true everywhere in life. You cannot logic someone out of a, per a position they did not logic themselves into. You can't do it.
BG3, how would you rate Paladin compared to the Marshals? It's the weakest one. And it isn't close. Viable because every class is, but it is comfortably the weakest of the Marshal classes. I would call it the weakest of the classes, period. There's a plus one great axe under the toll house. I'm gonna need that. Okay. Make tier lists about classes? No, because tier lists are not a good measure of conveying any information for a very simple reason. Tier lists have no context. It's like asking someone um, what item of clothing is better? Gloves or t-shirt? They're for completely different things. How do you compare them? It's like asking someone spoon or fork and not telling them what they're eating. Ear lists are absolute dog shit content slot because they tell you nothing. Time for its killer to have moved on. It's a really good answer. I'm glad you think so. Also, welcome in, Smarty One. Hope you're well. Um, but to address the question again about how I would compare Paladin to the other Marshals, it is worse in every area, because Monk and Barbarian do more damage than Paladin does. Fighter does more damage than Paladin does. Monk and Fighter have better action economy. Ranger, the other half-caster Marshal class, has all the same gear proficiencies, while also getting uh, damage resistances, while having a better spell list, while being less dependent on resources, while getting range support, while getting summons. I don't know why Shart was just kind of sliding there. That was uh, certainly interesting. I'm gonna go back to main menu, because she doesn't seem to know where she is right now. Turn on the lurker, so thanks for notice. Gotcha. Gloves are F tier here, it's hot as hell today. But you added the context of it's hot today. And that's something you don't get on a tier list. Rogue can smite better, they just spelt it wrong. True. Nothing about what they're trying to portray. They do give some insight to the author's preferences, biases. That's true. But if you're trying to present yourself as a useful source of information, and you're presenting your biases without information, what's the point? Everyone has biases. You can't escape that. But you can still uh, work around them. To the best of your ability. Let's try this way. How am I encumbered again, man? Uh, yeah, I guess sorrow.
Hunter does more damage than Paladin. True. Um, but then there's also, hey, okay, which, uh, which martial classes give initiative? Okay, that's Barbarian, and that's, uh, Gloomstalker. Okay, um, which ones give movement speed? Again, that's Gloomstalker, that's Barbarian, that's Monk. Paladin gets it with Vengeance Oath after successfully landing an Opportunity Attack is uh, effectively non-existent. Okay, which marshals have range support? Literally all of them, except for Paladin. Resource dependency? Paladin consumes the most. Uh, out of combat utility? Well, that would be Monk. That would be Barbarian. That would be Ranger. a trend. A few more strength elixirs. Honestly miss the most even without the minus five penalty from Great Open Master. I mean they don't have accuracy bonuses except for um, Sacred Weapon is unironically good because it is a large accuracy bonus, but that requires you picking that specific oath and then maintaining your oath, which is uh, very difficult to do. You could cast Bless, but anyone has access to the Whispering Promise or the Staff of Arcane Blessing. Um, and you're not going to waste your precious spell slots on Paladin on things other than Divine Smite. <laughs> Because you don't really have enough of them. Unless you staple on another class, which is, hey, you're not playing Paladin. You are nerfing that other class by taking Paladin levels. Lay on Hands is a borderline useless feature for the same reason healing spells aren't desirable, except Lay on Hands is um, a resource that you don't get much of, and it's touch range, and it's on an action. So, like, the complete opposite of Healing Word, which is the least shit of the healing spells, and it still almost never gets clicked when playing well. Monk is a better Great Weapon Master Marshal than Paladin, also true. Food acquired, drink acquired, controller acquired, time starts for solo on or playthrough. Let's go, Toxic Sight Gaming. Best of luck. I'm eagerly awaiting the updates. We'll clash with someone who's never played D D or any CRPG play. Do you like what kind of character archetype do you like? Do you like uh, you know warriors using weaponry and armor and you know classic I'ma fight you? Or do you like sneaky stuff? Or do you like spell sword type stuff? Do you like being a caster? Do you like playing a support role? Do you like being a summoner? It depends on what you like, because in BG3, everything is viable. Even the class that I spent the last five minutes uh, comparing to other classes to shit on it, even that one is viable and has use cases and is, is fun for roleplay. They're all viable. There's no wrong answer. How does Marshall with Charisma if you want to be good at RP and hit things hard? Yeah, you can take Charisma on every Marshall. Like... I guarantee, whatever you're doing with Paladin, Charisma isn't even making it better. Yeah, I'm gonna go that far. Because let, let's look at it. If you're talking base kit Paladin, you are not using any gear. Let's say you're also not an Oathbreaker, but I'll circle around to that. What do you think Charisma does for you? Inquisitor's Might, I guess? Extreme Short Duration? get your wisdom or not your wisdom excuse me your charisma modifier as extra radiant damage on on attacks for two turns like it doesn't do anything <laughs> unless you're taking aura of hate on oathbreaker at level seven or higher which also buffs your enemies by the way or you're using arcane synergy gear which is all located in the mountain pass Charisma doesn't do anything. It doesn't affect your Divine Smite damage, 
but the auras, yeah. You have to get 20 charisma for aura of protection to beat out a first level spell that everyone in the game has access to through gear. Also to beat out a cleric slash druid cantrip. So, cat is... I've never seen this UI. I have a controller on my desk, and every time the cat jumps on my desk to touch my mic, he, he shows me a new menu. What am I looking at? Very well. Like a paladin, unless you meet a unique character too, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and if we focus on things like that that are actually true, I I think the conversation will be a lot better. Like other things that are true, paladin dialogue options go incredibly hard. Like there's the one against Nier, where when he taunts you, you're like, "You're God, my oath. Let's see what's stronger." Paraphrasing, but like that's so fucking cool. But, again, like with a lot of takes about how BG3 works mechanically, specifically mechanically, it is people who don't even have the surface level knowledge from having read their own abilities making assertions about game mechanics. All style, no substance? Yes. Everything the class sets out to do is done better elsewhere. Welcome back. Have you I do if we had access to fewer classes, maybe its comparative value would go up, but we don't. Throwing the Oathbreaker Knight into a chasm is the best paladin feature. Let's grab him. Let's see what I can glean. We'll be no point in lingering now. I've got the noble stock. There's the strength elixir. Have I got everything then? All right. I'm a little bit nervous here. But I think I can make this work. Um, go get raspberries. Supposed to long rest after every fight. <laughs> Honestly, I went bar to my first playthrough, and it was great. Also, like 40 years of D&D experience. I went uh, Warlock on my first playthrough. I have some D&D experience. Um... But my primary reason for being excited about this game and picking it up in the first place was returning Baldur's Gate player. And this is a completely different addition of D&D to the other games. So very little of the uh, skills transferred. Not to mention I was a different kind of gamer when I played the original BG games. Definitely not a min-maxer or anything. We are here for raspberries. Collecting stuff for uh, saving Volo's life. By any means necessary. Life Cleric will keep the Paladin nice and topped up in health as they miss the ninth Smite. <laughs> Bold of you to assume the Paladin has that many spell slots. Hey, stick shit! It's stick piss! Stick piss, Tom! Stick shit! My mug's gone dry! Is it really shit? You heard her, stick shit! Fill her up! You got one of near oh, top lands are clogged with well dang. I wanted to see if I could invis past that trigger. Answer is no. Do 
you have non-lethal on. Guys, onward, ever onward. Strike hard, strike fast. If I mess this up, Volo's gonna die. But we'll see. We're good now. Just my other hand crossbow. Really, I didn't sell it. Oh no, there it is. that do so by starting a, a fight in my camp and then having shovel attack Raphael while I was in a fight over here Raphael's AI is now broken and he will not respond to me attacking him. knocked out Volo so that the other people in the camp wouldn't kill him and now I can not lethal Raphael was asleep for. The sleep was in case I needed to line up another crit. And I have sneak attack thanks to shovel. Which does speed this up a, an amusing amount. Do I, have, do I have two magical daggers? That's Raphael, level 16. Is he normally that level? Yes. Substitute with silence trick. Yeah, we have a few methods of achieving that now. You have silence, you have wild shape, you have gaseous form. Um, and now you have this.
think they'll fix this? They tried once. That's how we ended up with this method. We used to be able to get the XP and the armor inside of Act 1 rather than at the end. I'm gonna figure out what Raphael disappear after you knock him down your game. You skipped a step. Usually the indication of that is that you did not properly make him disappear um, from his conversation. His original conversation. Was that turn-based mode for? Raphael has an ability called Inevitable Resolve. He will only stay incapacitated, including unconscious, by being knocked out non-lethally for one turn. So, that was to give me time to loot so I wouldn't have to knock him out again. She's got Shovel. Love her. Shovel's awesome. We, we love Shovel. See, Volo's fine. Quite the cozy setup. Like he's even healed. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Mention door's tempting. These are so much on my first, uh, so honor run for the surprise rounds. Yeah, shovel's incredible. My first few honor runs, I didn't really use summons much, if at all. Especially not shovel and scratch, but my appreciation for them grew very quickly. Is vendor attitude lowered? No, because I disguised myself. We offer our prayers if I turn into mask tiefling in front of Bolo, yeah, I'll have low attitude, but... Only with that form. Okay, what time is it? Uh, we'll keep going. I just need to uh, get up and take care of something real quick. A couple minutes. And uh, I'll be here and we'll start progressing through Act 2.
Going back. Sorry about that. Um, fan of the gen that Claire's convention is coming. Yes, that gen is so good. Um, all the free thunder wave and the um, the restraint from the wind thing is so good. Also, the gen is tanky, tanky, huge constitution, and it can be buffed up with hero's feast and an aid upcast. Rosa brick. Thinks you just got mugged by some rando. Yeah. Appreciate the breakdown on Pally. Of course, Antoine. Love talking shop on mechanics. I'm personally of the belief that um, you're going to make a claim about how a class works. Base that on actual experience and game mechanics. So, if I'm making an assertion about something, it's through... Something I did in my 3,000 hours of, and over 30 successful honor solos. Or, based on things in the challenge running community. There's plenty of other people who are as or more knowledgeable than myself, who have some awesome accolades. Um, so, it's a community effort. All right, how do I want to handle this next thing? Normally, I have called a week at this point. That makes this a little more free. But that's not the case this time. I think I want to run this. I wish I had necrotic resistance right now. But this will have to do. This is not only for the meme. I must keep going. Giving shark glowing underwear is uh, also calculated. The light spell is until long rest if you cast it on a weapon. But you can cast it on clothing. And it'll only have a duration. But also, oh, if you were to cast on a weapon, it would only last while you have that weapon out. However, putting it on my clothing means it's there independently of my weapons. No matter. Moonrise Towers has to remain focused. Shovel's gonna die to Shadow Stop. Curse, but that's Look fine. You're... Shovel got in the fight. She is in the Shadow Curse area. Big fan of discussing this game, love so much, so and so knowledgeable. Glad that you're here, Pick and Balls. <clears throat> more water. Clearly read it knows better. Of, of course, of course. Learned that if BG3 Reddit loves two things, it's Paladin's ASI and hates rogues for whatever reason. Again, it it's you can trace a lot of these things back to not having played the game. Because if you have read gear in this game, you would see the amount of things that devalue ASI. Like look at Arcane Acuity. Max stacks of Arcane Acuity is <laughs> well. That's plus 10 to spell save DC and spell attack rules. AKA 20 points in your mental stat. Your associated mental stat. 20. 20. There's people who are like, hey, 2 is worth my feet slot. Okay, sure. Uh, 
Um, so what we're going to do here is split all my holy water up. this um. <laughs> excuse me Seven. I don't have any bonus action economy right now. Let's see. Thank you. Damage floor in this. I have to send three of you. Do it anyway. because I have a ton of them. Any target arrow? I was hoping you'd fork that way too, but I guess that tree got in the way. That's fine. It's not in the same vein as the argument about EK, but I prefer Battle Master strictly because I find it fun. And that is the best possible argument for anything. I find this fun. Boom. People can't argue with, with that. Instead, you'll have people twisting themselves into knots to say that 2 is more than 5. Like, what, what do you fucking mean, man? Can you just not accept a world where you didn't know how something worked and, and you spoke as such, and now you do? And the answer to that is no. Arrow running off to the Shadow Curse. Oh, come on, Cassandra, you couldn't, couldn't secure that? That's fine. I can. Crazy that that hit me. That was big ouch. Actually, no. It was there. Look for me. Little giant club is here to guard against strength drain. I know Leviatar Scourge would give me necrotic resistance, but. I decided that this was the safer option, because it also lets me uh, jump around and keep Bloodlust without losing access to my um, jumps and whatnot. Arrow just, Arrow just spending two turns in the Shadow Curse, like, what, what is Bro cooking?
Yes, this is why I bought all these magic missile scrolls, by the way. This was the intended use. Just left Harper Caro to die. This fucking guy. Well done. Keep your torch high. If you step into the shadows, you'll be felt for. Ah. Alright, yeah, and the light on the clothes was not for me. It was for them and Shovel. Shovel died. I saved them. So now I can let this uh, light spell go out. Four turns left. Um, because Shadowheart already has innate resistance to the Shadow Curse. Not the heavily cursed areas, but the same tier that you would get from a Torch or Isabel's Blessing. Origin Shadowheart can also, as I mentioned a bit earlier in the stream, can talk to Isabel without spawning in Marcus. Um, allowing you to get that buff to protect your summons, for example, without having to commit to that fight. The Marcus fight triggers on talking to Isabel the second time. I have alert, so I can just do this. Julius Frost. First time here enjoying your content from Germany, in my opinion. Too many people posting best builds about having fun, like you said. Many people seem to only copy instead of trying things out. Yeah, I think that's a huge problem with... There's a lot of people who... And I, I do kind of blame how algorithms on platforms like YouTube and, and TikTok and, you know, Reddit upvote culture. I blame these things partially for people's perception of this. But there's a lot of people who are not playing games to have fun. They're playing games to flex on other people, to post about how hard they're grinding at something. It's not about their personal enjoyment. And in my opinion, this whole, you know, best build thing is a subset of that. Like, if you think something is cool, play it. And as a theory crafter, as someone who sits here staring at skill trees and stuff for an unreasonable amount of time, I can't even tell you how many wiki tabs I have open for this, because BG3, unlike many other theory crafting heavy games um has a good community wiki with a lot of good info and keeping it all straight because the size of the game is crazy but anyway i have a lot of wiki type open um like what i like doing is finding something that i personally enjoy and then min maxing within the bounds of that you don't have to say that you know thing x is better than thing y just because you like it and then stick to your guns you could be like okay i know thing x has these shortcomings compared to thing Y, but let's see how far I can take it with the tools available to me in the game. That's the kind of thing I like structuring playthroughs around, so. I don't know. It's a, it's a perspective thing. So we're going to go in Hawk to Jahira, the and then that'll set up the ambush for Karnas. We'll be doing... I can turn into a Drow for an Intimidation check, but I think Clerics and Rangers also have an option there. Though I shouldn't need that. 
Ophelia in my game used uh, Mage Killer Carlac the moment she uh, one hits the caster, it's a smile on my face. Can't describe, it was so good. Like, see some cool stuff watching you, have fun. I appreciate the good vibes, Julius. Welcome in again. Some sort of barrier. Shadows can't penetrate. You eat, Jahira. You got a heart. I'd offer to shake your hand, but I'm in a spot of difficulty. Rather more than a spot, actually. You're about this. You should never have. Not a true soul. I believe that 30 XP is Jahira's XP, so I'm not positive. Um. Stock up while you can. I only hope I brought enough to see us through. Now, having really high persuasion is awesome. Because I can immediately buy some of the the very high profile stuff here that I'm really gonna love. I'm gonna bag the rest of it for when I'll need it. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Allergies. Have a strength elixir. Last one. Should be enough. Why are you wearing my underwear? <laughs> this is just like high school. Last light's best bargain, right here. Don't wonder far. Lurks at one HP because I knocked her out. Back in Act One. Now, the first time you come to Last Light while well, Floric is here, and Floric is only in Last Light until you have been to Moonrise Towers, whether you come to Last Light or not. Um. So, Manip Vidor, uh, Fist Cyril, and Fist Thadwick. These are NPCs that are only here in this window. So, we are going to um, extract their XP while we have the opportunity. Harper Donner's gonna mess this up. Say the thing. Didn't say it. Disappointed. There it is. Without Isabel's blessing. Have you got a death wish? There we go. We're gonna lure out the bullet. Fear may have escaped from too many times. Won't we'll be out to fight me now. There are five spawns for it, Chicago hot dog. Um, if it's not popping up anywhere, it's because you haven't been to one of one of the spawns. Once you have been to all five spawns, it doesn't burrow anymore. So you've got two over by the Susser tree. You've got one on that sort of land bridge going from the Salunite outpost to the Mykonid colony. And you've got up top in that same vicinity over by the Minotaurs. That's uh, four spawns. Then you've got um, one over by the chest that has the drow armor in it. And that's the fifth one. Shot, thank you. You're very welcome. 
I got Azurin the first. Uh, let me know how I should be pronouncing your name. Thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the emotes, the ad-free, all the good stuff. Thank you for your support. Good, good, cool. She's just a girl and he's on fire. There you go, Quack. to the side. Gotta move them. Once I've dealt with the third fist this way, then we can uh, talk to Jahira. I do already have a Blight Scroll, so dealing with the Strange Ox right now wouldn't be the craziest play. We'll see. Let's go talk to Megan. Uh, if you grab the sword from Harper Jonas's body, it's called Harper Blade, um, you can bring it to Megan in Last Light and she will give you a big chunk of gold. Hey Foster, how are you? Watch you lots, got my prime back today. I'm like, why not use it? I appreciate that immensely. Jonas, I mean, was a good Harper. I think I. Oh, hey, Inspo. Probably should have saved that then. Yeah, that's fine. I forgot that that's an Accolade Inspo. I forgot that I need to check Accolade Inspos again. I never play this background. So I am very uh, out of touch with what I need to be managing. Good initiative, not the greatest, but good. Mm -hmm. Strange Ox would help with this, because then I could have Shapeshifter's Boon. I'll, I'll, I'll let that wait. Please, do your very good health. Bad time for me. Have a good one. Have a good one. Every knife prefers a blade in the ribs, or it doesn't spoil the taste. If no, but it does leave. Yes, answer me true and do not lie. The path just answer the question. I well, if we're to survive, I have no choice but to we track them to this ancient. But you are that hope. Fine. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, you is what well, until then. She's up. Okay. So now that I've had that conversation with Jahira, the Harper should be grouping up at the uh, entrance of Last Light to go ambush Karnas. Yeah, I saw one of them there. You mean the occultist convoy crosses the land as we speak? 
Splendid. Harpers. They're allies now. Means I could like long strider them and stuff, but I'm hoping this doesn't come to a fight. What I'll probably do is um, I'll sanctuary on myself uh, before starting the dialogue in case it comes to a fight, and then I'll reassess. I'm gonna be handling everything. Slip. Yeah, rogues can can be like, mm, this, this poison. Alright, so guidance. Promethergy. Sanctuary. Or had Connor give you the, this person's not very fond of you? No, I love that. That's a thing that can happen. Bring me pictures of Spider Man. You absolutely protected me. Holding on to my lantern. Oh, hang on. I, 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 I forgot something. Forgot to be drunk. When's my last auto save? Uh, it was before that. Nah, this will be fine. I could have nullified it anyway. Yeah, see how the other one went away? Cool. Majesty, is, is this true? I added the condition to myself, Bob, well? during the conversation. Very well. If it is your will, we can have it. What do you oh no! Mean? This is not Her Majesty's will. Hey, there we go. Drunk now. You just got drunk mid combo. So. Drow have a DC 14 intimidation that I believe they have advantage on. I'm not a drow. I don't want to go for deception. Bonus to intimidation. That is still DC 14. Rolled good. Got intimidation expertise just to help with this. If it is. He's just doing whatever a drider can. Uh huh. You can't be serious. You know what's out there. If it... now, okay. See... Bye. Yeah, give me my lantern. Better fetch that lantern. Lantern. You know, this lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. Did me a good turn there, didn't you? Yeah. Pretty. You're well. All right, we have full Shadow Curse protection now. Don't have to worry about that mechanic at all anymore. We didn't have to worry about it all on the way here because Shadow Heart, but now we're even more set. See, because drunk, I have disadvantage to sleight of hand, but we're still just gonna roll good. Now we start heading over to Moonrise. Now, XP optimal stuff gets a little weird in this act. Like, for example, uh, going up to Arabella and telling her to fuck off instead of having her stay at camp while I try to find her parents. That's slightly more XP because she dies and there's an extra shadow that spawns in. Technically, I should be doing that. I'm not gonna. Because it's like 10 XP more. <laughs> But XP optimal strats get really weird. I'd also like to note I still have not been to the mountain pass on this run. Uh, and that was for some specific reasons.
not going to read that just in case. Unfortunate hitting this exploration XP spot at level 6, but it's what it is. Um, attack needs to actually go ask for now. Just gonna give Spider-Man back shots real quick. Let's do this. Their difficult run attempt is still not complete until the honor. Uh, there's many runs and restrictions that I've not personally attempted. Um, I plan on attempting a no hit run soon. TM. A couple other run ideas I want to get out of the way first. Um, I've also not done no looting, I've not done gearless, um, I've not done restless region lock solo, I've done a duo. Um, that's the cool thing about challenge running, everyone develops their own rule sets and, and challenges they want to do. My favorite runs that I've done so far, um, I completed the game level 1 solo honor as a warlock, that was a great run. It's my first attempt to, it only took me four streams. Um, John Normal is probably my favorite playthrough I've done of this game, period. Uh, John Normal is just a regular human male fighter who doesn't believe in spellcasting, so he doesn't do that, doesn't uh, believe in ad pulls, so he doesn't use those. Um, he's got bad knees, so he can't hide or jump. And uh, chat thought it would be funny to start with 13 in every stat, so I did that too. Uh, you'd be surprised how difficult it is to get through some areas in the game when you are not allowed to jump. No jump, no flight. Um, I was allowed to use Misty Step through um, items that granted a use of it, but not beyond that. Oh, it runs actually insane. Uh, Kaylee recently completed one, and I plan on using her rule set. Um, which is an extremely restrictive rule set. It'll be quite difficult. It'll be fun. And Will's packed. Interesting. Uh, intimidation. Why is all good. Are yeah. no consumables one yet? No, uh, and that one doesn't right. really interest me because that by itself is more annoying than restrictive. I feel the same way about runs like um, the so-called ultimate solo honor, because all that does is narrow the field to playing specific classes. It is a run created by people who have a certain class preference that restricts out everything that is not within the envelope of that class. So I find it very uninteresting. Um, same thing with no consumables. There's lots of classes that don't need to worry about consumables ever. Lots of builds that don't have to. So it would just be, I play that, and then the the runtime is a little bit slow. What's the rule set for that? It's no long rest, no tadpoles, no vendors, no stealing. Which is, everyone played Gloomstalker Assassin, and it's fucking boring to watch. Now, Soho did it as Shadow Monk, which was incredibly based, and a fun run to watch because of it. Say did it as a wizard with an Acid Splash build, and that was also fun to watch. But every single other person I've seen do that, Gloomstalker Assassin. Now, there, there is some variety in, in what 
level distribution they picked and, and sometimes in what gear they used, but it's very clearly a challenge run catered to a specific playstyle. And within that playstyle, with a reasonable amount of game knowledge, it's not even challenging. So that's a rule set that's popular that I have no interest in. You'll find Zrell in the audience chamber, true soul. She'll be wanting to Feather Fall Scroll, I do. Clip of the Connor thing, what happened to your Grace Hostile Connor's attitude? That's a really good question, so black. You can post the clip if you want to. There can be no doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the secret of the Another absolute. truth. The disciple one. Alright, so I need to try to get the land tarps. Discount. If you have coin, the absolute needs warrant. Prove it. Who's singing your name? Dark intimidation. Just seeing those words next next to each other is uh Yeah. Screaming my name more like. I don't know how to inflict pain. Show respect or I'll give you a demonstration. Can you get out of my recycling? He's very rude. Let me watch that clip. He made it. Ah, oh, you were doing Kadena stuff? <laughs> I like how he's straight and dumb. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, uh, that clip. Big talk from a little girl. And Did John Normal use stealth? Everywhere. John Normal was not allowed to hide. Master of Fitness. I was not allowed to click the hide thing. Want anything from my stash? Um, so eventually, the way I got around that in a couple of cases was the Justiciar's Great Shield gives you a once per short rest bonus action ability that creates a cloud of darkness and then puts you in the hiding state. I used that to be able to steal Nyrolna from Akabi in the circus, because that put me in the hiding state without me clicking hide. Um, but outside of that, I couldn't ever hide. Um, so if I needed to sneak past something, I had to drink an invisibility potion. Because I couldn't use a scroll. I could cast invis from items that they gave it, because that was allowed. So like the rings and Shadow of Menzo Barons and the hat. Uh, but other than that, invis potions were how I had to sneak around things if I ever wanted to do it. So Sentinel Shield is great, plus three initiative, advantage on perception. Um, we're gonna want this, but there's things I need to purchase first. However, I can sell stuff to Lantar because we did just max out his attitude with that dialogue. I like Lantar so much, sad to kill him. He's just kind of a a fun character. He's pretty chill, despite the whole cult thing. Use Trift Extender so John Normal couldn't unhide after using just issue shield because of these. The absolute war drums beat loud in your chest. How may I serve? That would have been great. Slot. Any no magic runs? I mean, John Normal could only cast from items he had equipped, and he was a champion fighter, so he had no innate spell casting. That was the closest I've done to that. But again, no no magic is one of those things that is catered to very specific classes more than anything. It's not a challenge as much as it is, hey, play this specific class. Like, for example, 
um, druids, you could just wild shape. Like, is that considered casting a spell? Um, because it's not considered that by anything that, hey, if you do magic in this area, no. Um, it's not turned off by Sucer Flowers, and Wild Shape doesn't care about gear at all. It, gearless runs with both Druid and Monk have been completed. So it just kind of pushes you in that direction, but you could also just be a fighter in regular-ass heavy armor, throwing regular daggers. By the time you get to level 11, you're throwing three of them per attack action. Um, I realize I've been shooting down a lot of restrictions, and here's the here's the takeaway from that. Individual restrictions are rarely interesting enough for veteran challenge runners to make for a good run. Most often you'll see runs centered around a specific build someone wants to try, or you'll see uh, one extreme restriction, such as no hit, um, or you'll see a pile of restrictions, which also gets applied to the people who do no hit. So like a combination of, okay, let's say no long rests, but also uh, I can't go back to a map after I leave it. That's restless region locked. Wizard Archer, no one's done that one yet. Except for you! You! We're gonna want to steal that shield right there. Iron Bandit shield is a, a 3 AC shield. Almost all shields in the game are 2. One is 3. Now, there are 1 AC shields, and I was trying to think about a use case for that, and that's probably, um, if you want access to Shield Master without having high AC. Like, that's such a weirdly specific thing, and I don't know if that's useful, but it's a thing you can do. Up there, C Invis, thank you, Roa. I have one Blight and one Ice Storm. I'm gonna fight Thistabald. I do need to have Near Misser available. Free Throw Glaive is more important. But I have a lot of money. I can just afford uh, both. Let's go by ring of free action. One HP throwable only, no returning throwables. Yeah, the returning throwables are not better than the other ones until Act 3. So, that's not a challenge. At no rogue. Throw monk is still incredibly broken. Throw fighter is incredibly broken. Like, monk does the most damage with daggers. Rogue does more damage because of sneak attack, but they only get one sneak attack per turn, and Monk can, can throw more daggers in that turn, and each individual dagger will do um, more than the rogue dagger that had the sneak attack piggybacking on it. So, yeah. <laughs> Should you be interested, I... Forgot I need... This, and this. Welcome back, truce. With one drop, I'd put you among the many crop. The, the, so let me adjust it. Let's do it. Please. I have a. I Welcome back, truce. Oh, do you know of any other true souls willing to aid my research, though? Do send them my way. Okay, reaction of smoke powder bomb. Take those. 
Risky Ring is something I might go for, but I have uh, I have something better in mind. Circle of Hunting is actually also tempting. Come. Oh, we can go Warlock too. We can stop moving down the list of powerful throwing. Like, moving down the throw list gets to the point where your class doesn't matter, because... I did a level 1 Warlock run where one of my main methods of dealing damage was throwing hand axes. Just regular, non-magical hand axes. I occasionally use the Returning Pike, um, but my main methods of dealing damage were throwing hand axes and throwing people. cultivation in there. Sick. Put on the Viatar Scourge for right now. Necrotic Resistance. I'm not worthy. I never learned the words. Yes. Other Zent show up at Moonrise if Roa's killed the Goblin Camp? No. Um, you definitely want Roa to live to Act 2 because there's a lot of uh, inventory of hers that only becomes available once she makes it to Act 2. Uh, let's go get the Moon Lantern from upstairs. Quite happy the 1 HP rule to be more punishing. Probably boring as fucking, maybe not feasible to complete the game though. Um, so, like, again, I'd like to shout out this challenge runner who completed the game with her character's HP set to level, like, set to 1. She had 1 max HP. Solo honor, no multi classing, region lock, everything with a legendary action was killed. All companion storylines completed. No tadpoles. No scrolls. No assistance from temporary followers or summons. She did that. Come and quiet. That's the way. I was drinking the potion and the temple aggroed on my party randomly, so I had to kill her. Ooh, yeah, that can happen. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Sorry that happened to you. You know, only able to deal 1 HP per hit on enemies. Yeah, that's not really a problem either. Merkle at 1 HP per hit would be awful. It would be literally impossible. You're, you're looking at it the wrong way. Because if you could only deal one damage, Merkle has two damage reduction. You can't damage Merkle. So you need to deal it another way. Spike Bulb opens that door. No. Spike Bulb damages the lever right here. And that opens the door. Wildly impressive, only kind of have listening to her to all of that. And Kaylee's an awesome challenge runner. Another Gith Yankee disc. Better see what Lazel thinks. So, this Gith Yankee disc is only XP if Lazel is around. You either have to be Lazel or have Lazel in your camp. Otherwise, 
not XP. So this is one of the reasons why I was considering um, a Lazel sacrifice for this run. But only after getting that. But now we're going to be sacrificing the Starion, I believe. Or fairy fire would work there too then. Likely. Likely would. I hear you. Uh, but you're not here to gossip. Star and sacrifice lead to ritual Cazador. Forgot the answer on that. Um, I think if you leave his corpse behind, it does. But I'm not going to be leaving his corpse behind. His corpse is immediately going in my camp storage. I know you, and he's yours to command. Good to. Can't you talk since? There's something wrong. No. Keep your distance, darling. And then we also get an Elven Elegance. Uh, should you be interested with one drop? Seven. back yet yes save in case of a crash even then accounting for that it only reduces hp by one per hit save other minimum amount possible still reducing the enemy hp out okay so on my level one warlock run i did a strat that required 150 rounds from me because I was essentially dealing between 1 and 6 damage to him every round. Took 150. But I did it. One of the many Merkel strats we have is completely safe. You just stand there and he dies by damaging you. While you're on the other end of the arena. And that's what I did. So, like, again, single restrictions are not enough for the challenge running community as it exists currently, community-wise, for this game. Single restrictions will not do it. Even something like you can only deal one damage, that's, that's fine. The only thing that that affects is it reduces your number of strats to deal with the netherbrain down to very, very limited things. I'll put that still do that's still doable too so like and then there's always the gale option of just skipping that fight entirely what are your thoughts about the difference between no tadpoles and tadpoles and difficulty uh the difference is utterly negligible i find that the biggest thing is the lack of flight but it's Act 3, and money is functionally infinite, so you can just stack up a ton of light potions and just drink one every minute. And then you're fine. Same result. Um, I think the idea that no tadpole powers creates extra difficulty comes from people who are not proficient enough at dealing damage, and they need to use Call the Weak to fill that gap. That's not a dig at people, that's just mechanically, like, Call the Weak seems like it's absolutely game-breaking when fighting strong things if you don't have good damage. Call the Weak is, it's in the name. It's for weak things. So it's only impactful on weak things. But against weak things, you have stronger answers. So it's not like it's the only option.
feel like people who include no tadpoles are assuming that removing the restriction makes the run much easier. Yeah, and it, it doesn't, because tadpoles are barely impactful at all. Sure, they're very nice things to have. In no way am I saying any of these aren't good, because literally every tadpole power, with the arguable exception of charm, is good. But you can do without all of these. You can thrive without all of these. No tadpoles is an easy first restriction if you're just getting into adding restrictions to runs. I agree with that. And also, it's good when paired with other restrictions. On its own, it's a nothing burger. But if you are pairing it up, like let's say you're doing no tadpoles uh, and no scrolls, well then your options for dealing with certain kinds of problems have been narrowed down to a point where you have to start getting creative with your solutions. And that's the kind of pairing of restrictions that doesn't reduce things down to hey, just be a Gloomstalker assassin. It's okay. You can still accomplish these goals, but you have to be thoughtful. What is the heal tadpole power good? Yeah, which one? I assume you mean transfuse health? For, for when you need to heal someone. Believe it or not. So if you have a lot of HP, and you're trying to keep someone alive, giving up half your HP to give all of that to them could be a full heal for them. Also, if you're a rogue, you have uncanny dodge. You can make this, instead of half your HP, a quarter of your HP, and they still get that heal, the full value, not accounting for what you reduced yourself by. Also, this is good for immediately setting yourself to half HP for the many items in the game that want you to be at half HP. Helmet of Grit, Spurred Band, Blooded Great Axe, um, Cap of Wrath, lots of them. In isolation, I don't think it'd be much difference. Gonna do no worms on my Jack of all trades run. Do it. Yeah, it won't be a problem for you at all. Just make sure he's following me. Also, avoid a tap bulls. I was convinced space scotches isn't good for me. Hey, as of um, as of patch seven. If you pick an evil ending, unless you're a very specific origin, using the gummies does have consequences. That's cool. I want to wake up beside a handsome virgin every morning, but life doesn't give us what we want. Can we kill this god now? It's Make it. What? You're bowing to this gutter-throated idol? You wretched little worm. I'll show you murder worthy of a god. Sorry, Astarian's never had any work done. I don't know what I'm laughing about. Sacrifice and chin. Should get some rest. Listen, hey, it was a uh, it was a botched surgery. I tried to tell him. I tried to tell him not to get more work done. He wouldn't listen. And sixty. Yeah, that's the info. Flare Carlac tried to eat Shadowheart, so I left the party and ate Mandara instead. 
You you mean like aid her brain, right? Right? We put down before he became too handsome to control. Encourage him. Kind of mess up sacrifice a star into the wall because he wouldn't sleep with you. Yeah, Shard is on some uh, some incel shit right now. It's not a good look. Been and she said, Let's leave this party. So, no harm in talking. Keep the hand. It in your head buzzes in concert. This text is heritage. This is more than a fable, it's an affront to the undying. I understand there's an accurate <laughs> neck, but the game is good. You can give it shadow hearts. There's much you we may have reached a truth, and the more secrets you keep, the stronger my urge will be to unsheathe it. So related, any chance of sharing our bunks again? I'll consider it if I She's like, hey, I'm relief. Until then Watch yourself or I'll kill you. Watching you squirm and then she gets back, hey, what a fuck? <laughs> hey Mark, how you doing? I, I'm sorry to report that uh, it seems that the Astarian was was refreshing his lip fillers and he uh, he underwent a, a horrible accident uh, and then I got Bowal's benediction. No, oh, I forgot to say Mercon. Eh. You win some, you lose some. Okay, mine's alive. Good. Good, good, good. Already going to attempt to, got crit hit by Ray of Sickness. Crit thrown javelin and throw a fight. Yeah, that, that crit Ray of Sickness is so fucked up. It can just... Like, your HP doesn't matter there. If, if a Booyog decides to target you with that, and decides to crit, you're just dead. Turns out fish fat doesn't make for good injection material. Apparently not. You see, I have this... What it comes down to is just by that I mean. I like how Gale hit me with the we've been traveling together a while now. Would have it, you're already primed yeah. to give me sure, exactly sure we have Gale. What I mm -hmm. Can I not pick up Steel for a short sword? I guess I already sold it. Um who do I give him? Like I might actually use speedy reply as the thing. Might use the Amulet of Salinas Chosen for some shit. I'm being very picky. Mira's Locket also has value. I'm gonna grab the Color Spray Ring first. Uh, you can have that. A metaphorical demon. I hate the point. Sincerely, though. Okay. Now we go... The last light. Known each other for a while, right? Can I bump a sig? Oh no. Oh no. The channel Oath Charge you'll absolutely always have access to. I... I... 
have only used those gloves like twice trade is that's a non-concentration heroism so like that's unironically good but i think that's the kind of thing you go for in act three when you're panty casting it but then it's competing for your glove slot so you're not doing it anyway but like there's hypothetical use cases for it Back to roadside cliffs again. Oh, the panties is the best paladin. It's true. For anyone unsure what we're talking about, uh, the Lithid free cast ability does let you use channel oath abilities, and the usual tech of stripping to refresh free cast works on that. So being oath broken doesn't even mean anything for your combat abilities in Act 3. Um, all it means is respecting is annoying. So this should cause Elminster to spawn in in front of Moonrise. Gotta be throwing him for a thousand XP. There he is. Like you want to say the magic words. This way. The two elixirs going? No, I just still have the temp HP from elixir of bloodlust. That's what this is showing. I have a strength elixir on right now. XP. Okay, so it just in the last ten minutes we've uh, we've killed a star in, and we've condemned Gale to death. But it was for a good cause. Know how high the Oathbreaker cost scales here gets ridiculous only heard of one k, two k, ten k. It doubles every time. I don't know of a cap. It just doubles. test current run has lots of money thank you for testing i'd be curious to know if there is a cap that'd be cool but it's definitely nowhere reasonable Mr. Thing, do you have to kidnap him to throw him off the Rosenborn Trail? Ask for a friend. Yeah, so everything on the side where he is, is not a death chasm. But over by where Esther is, more so, there are death spots. So you have to kidnap him. Or move him with Fowler or Loop Shriek. But you only get three turns of that. So it'd be very, um... I don't know if you could move him that far. Dude, the cap is 10k after three breaks. Ooh. That's gross.
Can you waypoint abduct him? Yes, yes you can. Uh, I've seen Flint do that. Or won't move to the bridge otherwise. Yeah, he ignores minor illusion. You have to move him with either spirit guardians, uh, Rafala, Lube, Shriek. Or there may be other things that work like that, but like auras that NPCs will try to move out of that aren't considered hostile. Um, or you have to abduct him with improvised melee. Or I guess you could start a fight and kite him, but like I think he's smart enough to uh, target AoEs at your feet while you're in sanctuary, even. And he's got, um, I believe, infinite Misty Steps. Or an extreme amount of Misty Steps, at least. So you can't really out-kite him. He's permanently in that spot. What do you mean? Throw him on the underarc passage as well. Yeah, this the question for this, uh, Zappo, Zappo, correct me, um, is specifically for a region locked run where if you're going to see Elminster, um, it's going to be in the mountain pass unless you decide to skip the mountain pass region altogether, which is not advised. So he's only going to be in that spot on region locked runs. Uh, why did I come here? Damn it. You show up elsewhere if I ignore him? No. You. What are because others? you're not region traveling? So no. Glad you're all right. Well, as all right as any of us. A makeshift harp is fine. Because you're not region traveling and not long resting. Any interesting materials in need of working? If you see him in Rosie Morn, I'm you will not see him uh in Moonrise. Uh, when if you find it, bring it to me. I'd Need anything? Just... I'd give the infernal alloy from Grimforge to Damon three times. Get all the items. Let's go for this bolt. Thanks for the info. Didn't even anyway fun to try. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, how far is uh, Starian right now? Um, didn't catch the end of your last stream. Don't have resistance. Like don't I have resistance? Yeah, that's fine. So I have no idea how this drunk thing works, well, considering I'm already drunk. I want to know what happens if I fail. Right. Amaturgy cancels out the disadvantage here. I'm willing to use inspiration here. Level 8 crash down about Titan Shadow Curse. Right, right, right. Cool. Any point going on our not class and monk? Yes. Because Tavern Brawler still applies. Still applies your strength modifier an additional time, and you already get your strength modifier once. Let's say you had a Cloud Giant Elixir. Uh, you're punching for 17 damage with Tavern Brawler. No dice rolls, just if you hit, it's 17 damage. That's, uh, that's still pretty good. And you can always put on things like Helldust Gloves to boost that further. 
non-monk punching is fully viable. What about second drunk? Bang, Mary kill the three thorn kids? Ooh. Um... Mary Thizabald. Bang, Garangoth. Kill Malice. I don't think that's very controversial. The duality of dice. Question, At least for the brainy ones, think Mary Malice bang as a bulb. Fair enough. Fair enough. Is as painful as the last. Moon Druid doesn't have lots of weapon proficiencies and benefits from Tavern Brawler. Yeah, I, I did a Tavern Brawler Spore Druid and it was great. Tavern Brawler Warlock is something that's uh, on my to-do list. The Blade Pack lets you be a very proficient thrower as well. You get Hex, you get Devil Sight. Uh, you get Mortal Reminder. Probably just gives accuracy, not damage from Wild Shapes, right? In Honor Mode, yes. Below Honor Mode, you get the damage still. So. A blade meant you couldn't throw. You need your packed weapon in your hand. And I'm not saying you throw your packed weapon. I'm saying you hold your packed weapon, which gives you extra attack while it's in your hand, and then you throw other stuff. Motherfucker! Ah, <laughs> I always fail this. Okay. Um, hopefully I can still get the inspo without doing the quest. Yes, we have the rat bat trade. Yes, we are a hunter. Yes, I understand. I'm keeping it in my inventory. Shall we? Who didn't? He who won't. But when it comes to Ethel, I'm he who would. That meme is getting out of control. Shadow Cloak Ring is getting Tower Brawler applied to Sam's and Fox. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Bro, listen. Fight you? No, I'm here to breathe. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that is a bro moment. I shouldn't have read that one. Everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> so let's see. There's rage. Go. Oh, because this is drunk run, I just permanently have advantage on attack rolls while I have this thing on. Think of Punch Drug Bastard as risky ring, just instead of the other downsides, I just give up my shield slot. Which I'm, uh, I'm okay with.
So now I need Caustic Band from Derek. Ethel's vegetable in patch 7. Mark, eat your vegetables. It's healthy. attack scale total level or rogue level rogue level if it was total level oh that would be frightening we'd better take a peek there's something specific that breaks Apple I haven't had a problem yet I haven't either so uh if there is something specific I'm not aware of it Same reason I can't thirst after Zarel this patch either. I still thirst after Zarel. Larian not giving us a Zarel romance scene is um your cowardice. No other explanation. I should get more tadpoles so I can get called a weak. Comfort. Close am I to seven? Very close. You did. The absolute war drums beat loud in your chest. How you have, you have no money. Do you have money? We'll see what I can learn. One. One mind. Ever at your service. Yeah, you have money. An order. Strength elixir active. Go to the docks. Better get to it. I mean, one of them could be elevated to a slave. Enjoy the view. This feels like a Messing around? Okay, my bad. Thank you for the love. Quiet as a mouse. Level 7. Um, so at this point I could restructure to 4 Cleric, 3 Ranger. And I think I prefer that. But I am liking having this rogue level to mess around with for now. Everything on me. No, I can. I could just do that respect now. Onward in her name. Better take that. Thou hast.
has now a boost Fate, dost thou require a new as? Okay. So start ranger. Yes, they'll start ranger. Same proficiencies. Having positive wisdom is more shit. Uh, didn't help. Going down to 10 constitution and up to 14 charisma without using my plus one there. This is so that I have 18 strength naturally um, thanks to the potion of everlasting vigor and I can make up the HP loss that I'm experiencing by having less constitution uh, with casting aid which I will know very shortly. I still don't really want and wisdom, but just do it anyway. I don't need find familiar anymore. I have wasteland wanderer fire. Where there's big naturals when? Next time. Cleric, Mercury Domain still, of course. Alert, of course. Now there's an argument for Sharpshooter. Now that I have Punch Drunk Bastard going, but no. Take resistance, yes please. Now I could go 5 Cleric to get Destroy Undead. Which with uh, Gandril's Bow is going to be pretty insane. That can wait. It'd be Daylight, it'd be Spirit Guardians, it'd be a bunch of good stuff. Archery fighting style. Can't sleep long strider. Hunter. Board breaker. Hunter's mark. Uh oh, ensnaring strike. Two levels of sorcerer. Not this build. Another build, though. Spells prepared, enhance ability for sure, silence makes a lot of sense, uh, sanctuary, spiritual weapon's a good option, but I don't think I do it. Eight. We get always prepared, pass without trace. Kind of nice. Though I'm always rolling with disadvantage. Still. Not nothing. Close to it, but it's not nothing. I'm gonna move the trickery domain stuff. Listen to the trickster, I can just take off the bar completely. Right. 
save. Making good progress. Eight hours in. How's everybody doing? I'm feeling real good about the progress of the run. Um, so I want Caustic Ban from Dareth now. I think I'm gonna go buy it. Yeah. clothes on? Uh, I guess we could. I guess we could. Add match. I heard no that if you pay to subscribe, you you get ad free viewing for free, free with your paid subscription. That, that that's what I heard anyway. Third level eight, fifty two HP. We could still go use Ethel's Well to be hanging out at 62. And this 20 AC might be alarming, but we can get Shield of Faith and be at 22. Will be no point in lingering now. I've got the noble stock. Two divine bone shards. Like what? Dareth, what is your inventory right now? What the fuck? That's crazy, ma'am. I already have an unhealthy attraction to Dareth, and it's growing by the second. Not the only thing that's growing. Let's stop. Settle down, chat. Behave. What do you mean, chat? Yeah, yeah, chat. Imagine buying the caustic band. Strange times. The reason I'm doing that though is for Icarus gloves. Now I can Drake Throat Acid for that effect too, but this gives me flexibility. I'm gonna Drake Throat anyway. But I like having options. I could Drake Throat Cold and Snowburst Ring. First ring, which we need to get. Let me sell more stuff so I can buy Sentinel Shield. I'll pass the checks at least. Um, Flood Hell Dusk. Oglop the Looter should be spawned in now, too. My surface was acid cloud. Yeah, that's that's the thought process. What do you mean, chat? It's you. Yeah, it's you, chat. I'm trying to stop them, Tubi dude. I I don't know why nobody's listening. Basically, making hunger of Hadar at home. Yeah. That is exactly the idea. I'll probably go one more hour. Hey, little cream squirt, how are you? Let's get Shield of Faith. Eat. Doing 
carry weight wise. Not fantastic. I do want to switch off of the strength elixir. Don't have to deal with this. Should help at least. You get Veilguard? Yeah, I've been playing it a lot. It's been what I've been doing off stream. Are you saying you're excited so it was any good? Yeah, it is good. I'm happy to report that it is, in fact, a good game. Flawed game. It's not without flaws. Uh, but it's the kind of game that people are bending themselves in knots to hate. And, uh, it's pretty cringe. Um, but gameplay is super cool. I'm on my second playthrough. I'm pretty deep into my second playthrough, in fact. Breaker's great, but it's also Herald time. Mess around with Snowburst um, on the next rest. Um, no elixir wise. Could run Bloodlust. Do that. Now carry weight's a problem. Plays has got to hold the rat bat for a while. And the Drake throat. And speed to reply. And the trident. Brenna can hold the mats. That makes some room. For the play style, the guard's a bit repetitive over time, but I don't know I haven't played. I mean, it does get a little repetitive, but like the skill tree is massive, so you can just start using different skills. Like every time I started getting bored of a skill, I just changed my build. Like the first Dragon Age is quite a bit. So it's basically Dragon Age 2 combat in a game that's totally Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, and then the plot structure is like, it's winking at Mass Effect 2 every five seconds. The best way I can describe it. Oops, hold on, eight. I think here I do have a reaction on. <laughs> played Souls games now any of their action RPG combat doesn't feel as good to play. Understandable. You blink Not sure how to feel about that game after that description. Oh, I'll just wait for it to go on sale. I mentioned Dragon Age 2 as a compliment. I like Dragon Age 2 a lot, but yeah, I understand. It's a... Not a common position. Really just barely not in Hordebreaker range. 
like actually. Group up better. not moving. Fine. 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 somewhere no excuse me ah uh, yes a two with advantage I see I feel like the fighting in Dragon Age 2 was kind of efficient had a lot of options yeah the combat of Dragon Age 2 was not one of the many problems with that game the Inquisition comment just didn't hold my interest. Yeah, so it, the series is tonally, they seem to have locked in on Inquisition is like the vibe they want, which I don't love. Inquisition is by far my least favorite Dragon Age game. However, in terms of it being somewhat in the same lane tonally, I feel the Veilgar does like everything that game tried to do, but better. It's like Inquisition, but not a game that made itself worse by trying to copy 2014 Ubisoft. I should be using Creeper Boots on this build too. Drunk bastard, baby. Figured I may as well take advantage. Ubisoft really was the blueprint back then, huh? Yeah, unfortunately. Ow. BG3 has also made it harder to enjoy other games for me. Yeah, I have to actively stop myself from comparing BG3 to other games that I'm playing, because it just starts being very unfair to those games. Gloves of Baneful Striking, but I can't have an Octus Fume, so I'm going to do that too. Mm 
What if I try to kill Gandril while I'm fighting this red cup? Probably a safer way of dealing with them, but I can come up with safe ways of dealing with him. Honestly, only enjoy PvP games outside of BG3 to no comparison to be made. This is one of those generational games that really did adjust the standard. Because how could we settle for stuff with no effort and no love put in? No attention to detail when, when we have bits. Now, I'm not saying every game should be held to this standard across the board. That's unreasonable. That's unrealistic. This game had a massive budget, a long development time, an early access window um, made by devs who approach the industry differently than the rest of the industry. But that last point, th that's something that can maybe be fixed a little bit. Um, and there are still lessons to be learned from this game's success. devs who doomed about Larian prior to BG3 release were right to be fearful, it seems. I mean, yeah, you had, like, Ubisoft and Infinity Ward devs complaining that people are gonna have higher standards. Like, yeah, maybe now? stop making Why shit games. I've scavenged all sorts. There is lots, but I've got scavengers once, so it's all mine. <laughs> Unless you want it to trade. Never forget early access Carlac and Messy Harriman Thara. <laughs> Phrase I remember most was Rockstar level nonsense for scope. BG3 didn't do anything innovative. Uh, and then those are literally the same people saying Spider Man 2 should have won game of the year. Like, Insomniac's a, a game dev that has been doing stuff that's been received well industry wise. And Spider-Man 2 is a game that I enjoy. It belongs absolutely nowhere near Game of the Year discussions. Pure delusion to think otherwise. I'm trying to think what I can fight right now. Hmm. Go buy reverb boots from Omello. Maybe if Spider Man was replaced with Drider Man, I could see it. Welcome back. Have you made? I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your. I see the vision. You're presenting. Welcome back. Ah, I greet you, son child. Got the reverb boots. I can curl the power to get third level spell slot back. Doesn't really mean anything right now. I don't have use for that plot, but something. Group Mother's Revenge. I shouldn't need Ring of Reaction for coming. Let's Crusher's Ring. Yes. Todd Howard was asked if he seeks to learn from BG3's success. He said something like, no, BG3's a unique success case. Almost read as an admission that Bethesda no longer 
tends to be special or unique at all. I mean, Starfield is the most unimaginative release that I've seen in the last decade. And remember, Assassin's Creed pivoted into their new formula after admitting it was unimaginative this decade. So did Call of Duty. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Wait for the new Assassin's Creed and that shit show. I'm hopeful that game's good. Uh, a large part of it is so that I can watch all the bigots do mental gymnastics about how actually it's not woke because it's good like that franchise is rough in terms of its track record in um innovative game design and being worth your time at all with with how the ubisoft formula is structured to retain players without having actual gameplay but the second all these people started saying weird shit as soon as they saw the protagonists were a Japanese woman and a black man. As soon as that started happening, I want the game to succeed. <laughs> it's funny how that worked out. Fight's a great motivator. <laughs> Open world Garfield Bethesda game. something about that. Kind of. Not really, actually. I have enough speed pots that I'm willing to do this. Encumbered by backpacks. Credit to Extra Life in 2023. Said the BG3 preview of this game will win Game of the Year by a landslide. I mean, it's not hard to see. Hey, Mad Mac, how are you? Hey, let me see, how are you? Oh, yeah, I was supposed to get called a week before doing this fight. Yeah, it's fine. First, it's fine. No extra, not a fan after um after the golden release. Well, I'm not a fan because they're scummy for many reasons. Victory and
very encumbered. Use my bonus action to loop that. Loop my potion of speed. Fine. Heal going, short break arranged. I get you still not got the Reaper. Okay. Noxious Fumes is like Sage Fright. It's their damage. I feel like So Black told me this and I just forgot. Misty Step Scrolls. That's Noxious Fumes work again. Enemy and those around take 1d4 acid every turn, like burning or electrocuted. Yes. Except it counts as uh, their damage, so it's getting the bonus necrotic damage that Shadow Curse Undead, or at least. It did last time. Oh, no. So the no Noxious Fumes damage dealt by one to another gets it. The one they deal... The one I deal to them doesn't. Yeah, no, that's how it's working. Let's see, we had, uh... We had bonus necrotic damage up here. It was because this Harper was hitting that Harper, and that Harper was hitting this Harper. But then see how there's one that doesn't have necrotic here? That's one of them hitting themselves. That's the one that had the fumes. Doesn't hit me, correct. Group a little bit tighter. Okay.
Oh, film, okay. I'm trying to think that through because I think you can get Hellas Glow and stuff with fumes. Totally about stage, right? Yeah, yeah. Those breaker aura work for fumes. No, it's a uh, weapon attacks, but like, it sh it shouldn't, but it might. It's worth testing. Irish. Rat bat's so good. I'm using a uh, punch drunk bastard, but rat bat is uh is pretty gross. I guess because they're drunk. Yeah. Sorry. Still can't find them. Just till you find one. So. Unnoticed. Use the drunken cloth in Act Three, probably not. It's like of the drunk gear, punch drunk bastards the only one that's like good. The amulet is good for sustaining your drunkenness in a normal build situation, but because of the nature of this run, that's not an issue. Um, that means we're pretty much just looking at the punch drunk bastard in terms of desirability. Hey, Kels, thank you so much for the two months. Extremely kind. Hope things are going well on your end. She's just a girl and she's on fire. There you go, Quack. Wahoo. Wahoo. Better fetch that. Weird looking rat bat. It's uh, it's fun so far, trade. I need to get Callus Glow Ring, which we're just gonna roll good. We're gonna have to simply roll good. Here, see what kind of interactions. You will find having Tipler's Rage active at all times. Yeah, I'm very curious about it too. It'll be a uh, good science. They're running out of the noxious fumes. I might actually have to fight them. Alright, I'm taking these gloves off. Wait, we found another thing NPCs will move out of the way of. Is there anything stopping you from applying noxious fumes to, like, your own summon? and seeing if an NPC moves to get away from it. I feel like there might be something there.
got to press on. I guess I shouldn't use Reaper Boots as much until I have um all the weak. Noxious fumes a mage hand. Yeah. Like, it might just be hostiles that move away. Prepare to die. But that does create the option of using a Shadow Curse Child. That's, that's a little cursed. Ah, fun not intended. Get them all. Imagine if this bonk six AOE worked like the Vitar Scourge. Doesn't it? Like, I think it does. <laughs> Wiki in regards to Punch Drunk Bastard, uh, this damage does not benefit from any damage routers applied to the base weapon attack. For instance, use part of a smite attack bonus damage applied to spells not applied uh, to the damage caused by Templar's Rage ability, so it carries some DRS, not all of them. Gotcha. Some DRS, but not all of them. Yeah. A new grave they dug. I've grown quite fond of you. you <laughs> it would be pointless of me to... Our chances are many... Oh, until... Skull said the thing. Very happy about it too. So something I want to attempt this run is using Balthazar as one of my main vendors. Um, reason being is he drops his gold on death, seemingly. So if I'm buying and selling from him a lot, that'll be a pretty big stack. I'm intending to try that. Might as well take a look. I'll grab that. Yep, it is science. Where the dark justicius came from. 
chest was terrible. Oh boy. Sure, sure, Shadowheart. Sure thing, girly. Alright, we'll have a religion check to go for the moment here. You can remember the brain puzzle in the colony. Can't remember the order of three paintings. <laughs> I still can't really remember the uh, Morning Lord's Radiance configuration. I don't know why that one won't stick. I got the brain puzzle down. I got you know th those three paintings. Just for some reason, Morning Lord's Radiance. Nope. It just it's not in there. Hey, Mr. Klein. Often it's saying where Lion said Tempest Cleric, no one can stand next to his fun. Add on a call the way from Temple Powers, they get knocked back and a low enough execute by call. It's such a really just toxic play style, and it's it's so enjoyable, Mr. Klein. I'm really glad it's working out for you. Extremely common cleric W. It's making the floor a crowd control tool. You can't knock that rat out. Interesting. Took me a second to figure out what was happening there. <laughs> Offer prayer and devotion to the Dark Lady. Your prayers fade away. You get nothing. Nothing comes to you in return. No soothing presence, no spiritual embrace. Only dark. Clerics of, say, Tiamat would already have the buff by now. must be inadequate. You must do more to please Shah going forward. And instead you get a check with advantage. Shah sucks. Adjusters. I'm in here to roll a twenty.
need a 20, just roll a 20. Practice rolls didn't count, of course. Yeah, yeah, I got it on the first try. Check the VOD. Go to the streamer proficiency bonus. <laughs> Try throwing people into the water and last light in for XP for the first time, but the first person I threw standing under the dock below the, below the water telling me to stop it. Ooh, yeah, improvised melee weapon and throwing on the docks can get a little bit uh, weird sometimes. Oh yeah, I still don't have Call the Week. No, that's certainly a choice I made. It's fine. Not tightly grouped enough. grouped enough. Fine. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Random rat running by. Okay. Keep doing it now, just see me through the dots. Um. Thank you for testing. So I don't have all that much AC. They uh, can pretty reasonably just hit me. I have a lot of speed pots. So I can cycle that for, for a while. We got Stinky Shark. She's making stank clouds everywhere. I guess she's gassy when she's drunk.
<laughs> Sounds like my ex. Your ex has done a lot of things, JT Stunner. Refried beans and get us. Stay with so long. Hey, cheers. You enjoy yourself. I think I only have like one or two left. I don't know. Make those last. This is kind of nuts, actually. <laughs> Tenacity still triggers that? Okay. Sure, of course it does. Monday, by the way. What a long week, huh? Such a craving for baked potato. I think go for a loaded baked potato. Saves. I'll keep, keep that in mind. I'll be taking some significant damage here. That's fine. What if that one level that I couldn't decide what to do with, I take, um... Take a class that gets me shield. Use my first level spell slot on casting shield. Then Hunter's Mark, and that's it. Warden to cover the lethargic turn. Thinking sorcerer or wizard? Um, I think sorcerer to get access to Agathis just makes sense, but like wizard would let me scribe some stuff. How would my caster progression be? I wouldn't get to six level spell slots because I have minimum three levels of ranger. So, are there any wizard spells at fifth level? Artistry of War, I guess, would be kind of nice to have. Move.
my PC to the store, get it fixed. There's no reason it should be stuttering, stuttering mess. Uh, apparently, plug the monitor to the GPU, otherwise the computer thinks he's using the mother. How's the drunken shark run going? It's good. She's uh, she's got gas now, but it's uh, it's pretty effective. Strunk bastard opportunity attacks are based, actually. Hang on. <laughs> Spell slots a five ranger, seven druid have. Couldn't tell you offhand. Jiggling? Let's jiggle, Gage. That's a good idea. Ice Archer Paladin and try, uh, not sure what to turn my party into to pair with that, but I'm thinking probably once Ice Sorcery even more Ice Damage spells, throw Mates of Rubber and Carlock to attack from far. Whatever you think would be, uh, thematically relevant, as, as we all know. As long as you put enough work into a concept, you can make it viable in this game. It's one of the things that makes this game great. And all my alchemy mats to burn a bright song. Oh, Use a short rest. That and the fight went pretty well, all things considered. Oh, I didn't have a great helmet option on there. comforting. Door pizza, so I will in fact be jiggling. Nice. I should, uh, consume food. It's been nine hours. I said I was gonna go one more hour, an hour ago. Don't tell anyone. We'll just, we'll just keep that under wraps, okay? is a combination of words in my chat. Am I doing that in this boss? Hmm, not horrible. Use the ring here though. failed. It's just unfortunate. Mm. 
Thanks a lot of bits control. Yeah, punch drunk bastard is hard breaker stuff. Actually, no, no, that was the other one there. I misjudged the radius. Lennox failed, really? That's awkward. Just rolling a series of threes, twos, ones. You will turn around in her neck. You can push him off like that when he has wings, he's, you're fairly high up. Um, he forgot. Yeah, you, you, you forgore. Quang forgore. Okay, roll more once. Shit. Not quite close enough for Horde Breaker. Charger? Yeah, yeah, Poppy. Uh, she got gassy today. Gotta dip out, you're still alive, we'll be back. Have a great rest of the stream, good luck. Thanks, GG. Uh, I probably won't be alive much longer. I really shouldn't be. But I'm having fun. Fumes. See, she's gassy. Well, 
longer unemployed, can't tune in as much, be back tomorrow, and stuff, be well. Hey, congrats, Glass Jacket Shirt, man. That's a huge accomplishment. Very proud of you for locking that down. And thank you for, for thinking of me. Um, no obligation, of course. I'm glad to hear things are being kind to you. Breaker, it's so good. Horde Breaker, Noxious Fumes, like, look at this. We're taking so many instances of damage. We're not Illuminator right now, so Callous Glow isn't happening. Means I should do this. Necromites won't move if they have an angle on you, so they'll stay where I group them. Makes this work out quite nicely. Closer. Might find something nice. Useful. So, uh, Hunter's really good. Reminder, this is three levels of Hunter. Cleric features aren't really factored into my archery yet. I'm just kind of passively doing it while I happen Check to be a cleric. Let's finish clearing the docks. What kind of build you recommend for a Frost Knight vibe? Um... Nemeser and Trade have both been doing builds kind of related to that. Um, Nemeser is doing a Nature Cleric slash uh, Monk that is freezing enemies very easily. Um, and... Trade's not doing this uh, free stuff on his stream, but uh, he was messing around with um, freezing things with rat bat. With uh, two swings of the rat bat. Hey, Nuna. Didn't expect me to still be on. Hope you're well. Yeah, yeah, I'm a hyper fixated. You know me. If I'm still on after 7.30, uh, I'm cooking. Um, Shadowheart has, uh, has really bad gas, and now it's everyone's problem.
don't have much strength right now. I need to buy Harmonium Halberd. You were witnessed assaulting someone. No, I wasn't. You're headed for the cells. Disadvantage, drunk. Okay, well, I'm fighting now. The guard is impassive. Alright, um, I could die here. Just, uh, making that clear. Ow. the other guy. No, oh, there. Price is averted. Yeah, I got hit pretty hard. way safer than pushing because a failed throw doesn't get any response but a failed push need to keep going but I don't have enough strength to throw him right now Positioning is so fiddly. Going that way. Quiet as a mouse. Maybe that works for me. You got to keep moving. Oh yeah, Trickery Domain gets Mirror Image always prepared. That's actually going to be sick. When I get Band of the Mystic Scoundrel, that means I can just, like, bonus action Mirror Image all the time. to see it. Mind Flare Tadpole went pro. From the Grease. Front door guards, I don't feel fantastic about dealing with them yet. Go deal with the hook horrors though. Flashing resist from Ambling Worthy. 
repost regarding uh, Ice Paladin, uh, most of it allowed. Yeah, uh, I feel I'll need my party members to not be affected by the ice surfaces we're creating. Just try solo, it's also an option. I mean, I'm a solo player, so that's that's always going to be my default uh, viewpoint. It's easy enough to not be affected by your own ice surfaces. There are two boot options, three boot options, just in Act 1 alone. That, um... So want to shatter some more of it up. Not gonna. There are three boot options in Act 1 that cover that. With more gear that covers that later in the game. And then there's also just positioning well. So that you don't have everyone running around in the uh, in the fray where the ice is. Intimidated. I forgot to Hunter's Mark. That's fine. No. My bonus action, really. Guess I could make some distance. I know of disintegrating night walkers, Minthara's boots, ladder needing to concentrate, not too hard to do a paladin granted. You also have uh Horfrost boots from the crush. That are specifically you can't go prone on ice. slightly out of range. Leave though. Really vibing with Punch Run faster. It's so good. The downside of not being able to use my shield slot is uh, a little unfortunate. But I have Adamantine Splint, and in a pinch, I can Grim Skull Helm plus Helldusk if I want even more beef.
Panelithid Oubliette. Right beneath the towers. Her also happy to be using Herald. That must be where the tadpoles are coming. The bane from it is helping the consistency of my noxious fumes. Why are we drunk? Because that's the uh, the thing chat wanted to see. Drunken Charger. If you mean how am I drunk? Exclamation mark how. Hmm, kind of like stage fright here. Good force tunnel though. Should start dolly porting out of here. It's way faster. But basically, in terms of um, class features that we're going for as we level, uh, level eight cleric. So four levels from now, level eleven currently, um, is going to be divine strike. I think of divine strike as divine smite's better cousin that is more flexible in every way that matters. Um, and the divine strike granted by trickery domain is poison damage. So there's some fun gear synergy I can work with with that. Um, I can impose poison vulnerability with um, Poisoner's Ring, sold by Roa Moonglow. I'm on my way to buy right now. I think it's likely that I don't end up getting that Divine Strike Poison until Act 3, because since Merkle's immune to that anyway, I'll probably opt for having Sneak Attack. Sorry, I've been kind of in and out a little lost. No, it's quite all right. Ever at your service. Nothing to apologize for. How dare you take an interest in my content? Rude. Does the dolly port work again? She turns you into a cow and you can send a waypoint. Yeah, while you're polymorphed by dolly, as long as you're not in combat, you can just waypoint travel. Even if you're in a zone that you're not supposed to be able to do that. As long as the game does not think it is nighttime, you can just do it. Why is that useful? Why would fast traveling to a waypoint when you normally can't be useful? Think about it. Oh, he's only for one turn, yeah? Yeah. But these harpers are running back to the ambush site. I guess I can kill them.
You just have to click fast and go in turn based mode. You have to click fast. You can't fast travel all in turn based mode. You gotta click fast. Yeah, I'll speed pot. Why not? Sorry, shovel. Be too much damage. You need extra attack. Just simply keep shooting. And you can get the hammer and dip out of Raphael's blades without fighting him. That is one of the many applications. Yes, Randa. You can do that. You can go into the Mind Flare colony, get the Resonance Stone, and then dip out. You can get out of Ethel's house a bit faster. That one's just kind of convenient. Magic breaking the space time continuum once again. In other news, it is a day that ends in Y. <laughs> Need to buy Harmonium Halberd from Dan. Specifically because since I have 18 strength naturally, I can equip this to have 20 strength. Without need for an elixir, which means I can throw people. Get Carlacker upgrade. Fight Ethel, whatever, really. 
I gotta be careful about noxious fumes. Probably don't wear these gloves there. Let's go to Grand Mausoleum. Combo I wanna try. Just, uh, just roll good. Um, so for Malice... I go in with good religion. I think I'm fine, honestly. Like, if I do this... Guidance, Thaumaturgy... I'm down to try. You can always start the conversation while Sanctuary, too. Fuck it. Fellow Sharans. Come, step forward. I can see the love of Shah dark in your eye. And the. Tell me, what is. Absence. If. We do not wish to see you suffer so. Let us. Goddess has greater plans for me than to submit to your scalpels. We roll good. The drunk back dude do something other than hinder you. So it's disadvantage on dexterity and um, charisma checks. Uh, currently I'm using one of the very few items that uh, turns it into a positive as well. The great club I have equipped is called Punch Drunk Bastard and while I'm drunk uh, and I have that weapon equipped I have advantage on all attack rolls I do and also uh, attacks I do with Punch Drunk Bastard create a thunder damage AoE. Another Absence is your fate. There in how to steady their hands, I wonder. We're just gonna roll good. Watch this. It's easy. Just just roll good. Yes. Submit, I must, into the lady's dark fingered embrace. I see now. By example, I must edify. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And quell the Any questions? That blinds us. Hey, that's my one XP. Hey! Forgot he'd do that. Come, sisters. Me when I say Paladin's bad on Reddit. I didn't get an inspiration for that. Are you kidding me? Fine. Fine.
I think Paladin's bad because it's objectively the weakest of the martial classes and arguably the weakest class in Baldur's Gate 3. All classes are viable in BG3, so comparatively bad does not mean unusable. And even if it was, like, completely terrible rather than just comparatively a bit shit, still play it if, uh, if that's what you enjoy, because the correct class choice is the one you enjoy the most. And also, it's a role-playing game. You can role-play. But from a theorycrafting perspective, from the perspective of an experienced challenge runner, absolutely nothing offered by that kit is not also offered somewhere else more efficiently. So it's easier to just say, it's bad. Because most people on the internet don't have the attention span to, to sit through you saying everything I just said. Uh, yeah, let's go for that first plant group. I don't like oaths either. Managing oaths as far as how they're implemented in BG3. Real rough. Don't love it. Not a fan. Rant. Am I ranting about Doge? It shall be done. Read enough Halson slander the stream. If not, then Halson. You know, there hasn't. I called him stupid a couple times. Uh, Halson sucks because he also gets people to miss out on content by gaslighting them into thinking you have to choose between the Mountain Pass and the Underdark. And, like, that's stupid. That's that's dumb, Halson. You're really dumb. I hate that guy. and his geek. He's not smart enough to be a mind player. If they put a tadpole in his head, it would starve to death. How you doing, stubborn old dude? thing about house and same as I've really access the game I was one under because under dark and no idea you'd go crash as well for exactly the reason you mentioned till I got full release I'm sorry that happened to you it's it's intensely frustrating Okay with them trying to get closer to me. Yeah, it's fine actually. Our first playthrough a year ago, I was spending so much time forums trying to figure out if I should go to the mountain passing the underdark route because of how and didn't understand what people said just do both because I thought I'd only do one. Yep. So what happens if you take what that idiot says at face value? I I hate Halson. Like it 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 makes it easier to hate on the limitations of how they presented him in 
it's a game mechanic implementation because he's also just an asshole. successfully poison him. Those gloves. That's fun. The three turn poison too. I forgot to change clothes. What's the DC on that? DC 13. DC 13 charisma save? What? Oh no, no. Okay, it's DC 13 con save. The Bane is the charisma save. Poisoned. Still saving though. Ah, that does heal me. Okay, so we've got something of a self sustaining loop here. I shoot someone after triggering Broodmother's Revenge. They fail the saving throw against Poisoner's Gloves. They get poisoned, which heals me with Derivation Cloak which triggers Broodmother's Revenge. <laughs> this loop work was earned promise too? Yeah, it would. I should have that on, actually. I mean, my accuracy is already good because I have advantage, but yeah, I could. Marco boys the magic missile. Yeah, that's so much healing. <laughs> Marco boys the magic missile with parry after wound closure. I almost feel like I should concentrate on stone skin. I don't have that available right now, though. Kill some druids? We could go kill some druids. Some more tadpoles, though. Prepare the stakes, Kaga. Uh, Moonrise front door? Maybe. Do some experimentation. I mean, poison magic missile. It's magic missile. It still does force damage, but if you have Marco Heschker and you attune to uh, poison, then hitting people with spells poisons them. someone. Alright, it's okay. Wanted to see how that would work out. I don't hate the outcome. On I go. 
is why I don't hate it. We're gonna do this. Good. Roll a 20. It's easy. Welcome back, GG. Absolutely not. Next turn. Take you two to get to me, probably. Heal from derivation cloak or replenish temp HP from Spore Druid? No. It's real HP, not temp HP. <laughs> There's a parasite in that corpse, brimming with potent magic. Tadpoles. It's better for me to sustain uh, Broodmother's Revenge through other means. The derivation cloak loop is just kind of fun. Back to noxious fumes. No time to waste. Push you off. Go there. Time to meet your maker. See what's straight through. Onward then. 
Wait, Kaga's already dead. I, I forgot that I already killed the shit out of her. Right. <laughs> I'm just so used to certain things occurring. Oh, there's still a couple of druids left. May as well deal with them. Runs so good, it's so much fun. Uh, group up. Yeah, they're running to avoid the noxious fumes. Shot just got blocked by the elevator platform coming up. Wow. Okay. Never told the bear Halson's back. Gotta do that before I kill him. Bro just nopes the fuck out of existence. Okay. Vanish. Second level spell slot for Hunter's Mark. I don't want this guy dead. So good. Can I jump to there? Jump to here. I've never fought from these positions. Sometimes doing things differently just for the sake of doing it. Leads to cool shit. Drill hiding. Minor illusion. I noticed that chest there. That's what the uh, key down here is for. Surprise the guy I was already in combat with. Mm. 
saves the girl, leaves, come back, snipe everyone, leaves no one alive to elaborate, and leaves. Well, I mean, they were mean to refugees. I don't like that. Ignore how many of those refugees that usually die in my runs. I don't think I killed many this run. I killed Arca and Memnos and Nadira. That's it. Might be hard to believe, but pizza tastes good. You taste good. Got him. Better take that. I must keep going. They do deserve this. They do. Silver, yeah, yeah. XP overall. I guess the bird doesn't deserve it either, but you know, I needed Horde Breaker to kill Nettie. Killing Nettie is very important. I never forget to do that. left to level. It's been 10 hours. Alright, I want to hit level 8 and call it. That's still too much. But... I'm drink a fake cat so you can sneak attack a lady who heals birds. Uh, don't forget, she poisons her patients. It's, a, it's, it's an important bit to not gloss over. And she was also abducting and vivisecting people with Halsa. So there's, there's that. Now, they were cultists, but she was still abducting and vivisecting people. Might as well help myself. She does? Yeah. If you don't tell Nettie that you can link minds with, with people, if you don't give her, like, an excessive amount of information about the tadpole, she just straight up poisons you. And if you cure the poison in front of her and, and aren't able to convince her to calm the fuck down, she'll just try to kill you. And and hey, guess what? Yeah, if Kaga gives the order for the druids to purge the grove, Nettie is over there casting Flaming Sphere at refugees. Not out looking for Halcyon, which she claims is so important. Uh, burning refugees. Fuck Nettie. Start hunting bears in her undies. Just like me in college. Sir? Yes? First encounter with Nettie made me very mistrusting of her. She's way too eager to kill me. It doesn't give any info. Why? Just trust, trust me, bro. Nettie is so infuriating that of all people, Gale enters a fucking rage. It's like... <laughs> There's a bunch of stuff in, in the, the grove that makes Gale, like, really angry. It's that. It's Kaga's treatment of Arabella. Gale wants to protect the underdog. 
And you know how chill he is. He doesn't really express anger. Seem interested in that. You simple enough. Your time has come. Just kill them. Simply one shot them. Ass damage coming from Drake Throat, yes. Uh, we can go fight the Owl Bears if I wanted to. I don't really want to. I think the Patrol should still be there. Do I want that smoke yet? I don't think I do. I think I want to be a bit stronger before I try to pick a fight with a boss. Because I want to try to knock him out. And that'll be super complicated with, um... With Punch Drunk Bastard. Because, like, I won't be able to. I have to switch weapons when he's low. Because I'm drunk. So, like, it's always going to do the thunder. Yeah, I'll have to switch weapons to knock out Voss. Yeah, that's something for me to keep an eye on. Um, what? Is that that crazy yet? Active, yeah. I haven't used Luck at the Far Realms yet, though. Thinking. Okay, I'm into you. I already did that. I didn't have Punch Drunk Bastard, uh, Bastard yet. Wasn't, uh, wasn't an issue. Um, hmm. I'm at a loss for what I can fight right now. Could do more of Moonrise. I guess I could go save Minty now. Yeah, I have Surgeon Subjugation. Luck of the Far Realms. Is that to paralyze one of the questioners? Yeah, fuck it. The concept, what's uh, Shard's drink of choice? So she drinks a lot of wine in the game, Jenga. Um, she talks about it a fair bit. Some of her epilogue dialogue, um, one of the routes that she can end up, she can uh, start making her own ciders. So that too. I feel like her drink of choice would probably be a nice rosé. She's a wine on. Yeah. You want to say? And... Must keep going. Spirit kind of woman, Haka's cleric. Well done. I approve. Gloric, Gloric. We do still have a uh, fight to do.
Surely I picked up a scroll of shatter somewhere. Seems I didn't. I don't like where this is going. Uh, I'll be fine though, right? It'll... It'll be fine. It'll be fine. My fates will guide me. Better take a look. for this fight. That seems wasteful. Just want to draw poison here. Simple toxin. More appropriate. I guess I'm not concentrating on anything now. The region traveled. Full guidance. Scrying item be in here. I picked the fight. Time for a little pilfering. Shot. Even crit. No gaping wounds though. Sad. Wait, no. I want the door open. I don't want you really going anywhere. She thought it looked like fun. Onward, ever onward. I have an enlarged scroll. No? I'm lucky. No, 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 I wasn't. It was a prank. Okay, we're fighting. You try your best. Where the fuck the other person go?
get some rest. Oh, I haven't dealt I with Linsella yet. I do need a Shatter Scroll. I'll check Roa Moonglow. Bender. <laughs> Ever at your service. She's got the uh, targets. Surely you have a shatter scroll in here. You do. Only the one though? Weird. That's enough. Is a chilled enemy. The steam cloud is frozen instantly. Ooh. Efficient ways to create steam clouds. Um. Apply burning to someone standing in a puddle. Like, throwing alchemist fire into a puddle does it. Um, but I think applying burning to someone standing in a puddle will also do it. So. Maybe, um. Great water into wall of fire. There's an illicit parasite in that corpse. You should take a look. That seems uh expensive. Did I forget of those well? Probably did. Right. I didn't have HP. That's a faster way of checking that. Did kill Fezzerk and Saza. I will not be slandered. The boy. Who said? True. Make her pass. And what do you have? No. I'm so sorry. No. Dispose of or better. Of course not. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Do here in here. Wait, wait. Gonna do anything to justify yeah. you. Oh, we've been nothing but loyal. Need to wait to make sure Minty isn't in the room anymore.
Fight me. The seat of the absolute's power. Occupied by a general that cannot be killed. His violence of flesh and blood. We must learn more about his power. Yeah, 110 XP. If I hadn't killed Fezzerk, it would have just been him. That would have been... 50 XP. Um, assuming I hadn't already at least um, made him surrender. Massively more XP to optimize some of that early stuff. Bloodlust. You dare scar my nice. nice job, Minty. Let's go. I'm goofing around way too much and I'm about to get punished. Let's go, Minty. Alright, I'm confused. But it'll be fine, right? Every everything will be fine, maybe. Alright, what are you gonna do? That's a choice? What is she cooking? I mean, Questioner went prone, so concentration broke, so I'm not confused anymore. Like, what, it, what is she cooking? Silence bubble. Oh, maybe that's how I knock out the boss. I hit him in silence so that uh, he doesn't take the punch from faster damage. An interesting idea. You're gonna use like a spell slot, Minty? Oh, you're silenced. You can't. Just, just punch her. She's, she's not doing anything. Also, that whole interaction is why I never cast Confusion myself. I 
expect I didn't think anyone would come for me. But I will pretend the interrogate me. Because, like, sometimes you just get nothing. Have to keep pushing. There can be no respite. Do we have a target? Go on. Bintar. Stop it. I just had you cast Invis. <laughs> I hate that she does that. That's the guy I pushed off the roof. What is it? What's wrong? What is it? What's wrong? You're you stopping me. That's what's wrong. Audio warning incoming. I'm gonna. As a commander, I'm gonna mute the, the stream time, audio for a second because the voice of a god. He'll... Do you have All a right. safe place to camp nearby? Spared you. Loud you hear it come from headphones. Yeah. Yeah, it, it coming from my headphones, it queued up my mic. So you probably still heard that. <laughs> Let's see what I can glean. It does hey, not. Thanks for the hundred bits control. We must eradicate them. Swear that you will keep me. Rest well. You wish to consult me? A mistake. When. Why are you in my recycling again? Don't want a feat. So I could take Sharpshooter, or I could continue my Cleric level progression. I don't want to take sharpshooter. I never take sharpshooter. We're going to be a sharpshooter. There is no before. Four four, level nine's probably cleric. Level ten's ranger, or no? Level nine's cleric. Level ten is rogue. Eleven, I probably take another rogue. I don't know what I do with eleven actually, uh, because the long term level eleven setup I want to use. Um, Poison Divine Strike won't be valuable against Merkle, so I won't be specking it there. How you doing, Woodsy?
don't think I triggered Roland doing his thing. But now I'm wondering if I did. Because I can't think clearly because I've been live too long. Funny how that works out. I had to see how the area looked from this side. Because the last, uh, last time I did this, I messed it up pretty bad. So, I we going from... Oh, thank you, camera. We're going from right one town out this way there okay um a little late that's ah, okay right on time shark's got gas and it's really making the build shine another thing i could do i could do two levels of rogue Bonus action disengage. Where the Eversight Ring, Cloak of Cunning Broom. Premium trinkets and doodars. Like that. You get more XP doing grow defense than you do by killing the goblins in their camp? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. There are enemies created for the grow defense that do not otherwise exist. Jahira didn't save your ragged little tail from the cultists. I did. Good. You leave soon? We don't want I, to if you're here to save the day again, you're a little... Carl and Leo are taken in by your you. Fire right there. Do I have any holy water? I don't. This could kill me. I was gonna drop a smoke powder bomb in this fire surface. But like that could that could kill me. did it before I could think about it. What should I hit myself for? Did I hit myself? Yeah. Right. I succeeded saving throw. Succeeded saving throw. Okay. That could have been worse. Risky moves? Yeah. I feel bad because in the um, co-op run I'm doing, I got Roland killed by accidentally engaging that fight while we weren't in a good position to do anything. So, a shadow had the first turn and just immediately crit Roland and killed him before anyone could do anything. So, uh, 
I feel guilty. But I really wanted to save him this time. This is a good stopping point. I'm sorry to say. I'm live for ten and a half hours. Uh, so we made insane progress today. We went from halfway through level five to um, we hit level six. We did Grove Defense. Went through, um, got Raphael's XP. Um, got all set up in Act Two. We hit level eight. Um, I'm thinking tomorrow. Um, tomorrow. Maybe we go for Voss. I want to knock out Voss to see if we can still trigger him showing up in camp for Lazel's storyline. Um, that'll be tough. There will be a lot of layers to that. Voss is one of the most offensively relevant enemies in the entire game if you choose to fight him. Uh, we'll also be killing his dragon, um, provided we get through Voss. Um, and then, yeah, probably hit level 9 and stuff. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for being here. All the love and support's awesome. Y'all, they're great. Uh, let me find someone for us to raid. Uh, who's who's alive? Is anyone doing the uh, the Baldur's Gating right now? Oh, Say is on. Perfect. Say was on this morning when I started stream, and Say is on again, so I have some introspection to do. <laughs> about uh my stream schedule but i hope you guys enjoyed um i'm having so much fun with this run and we've already discovered potentially useful new tech thanks to this run i have some noxious fumes science to do and that's gonna be pretty crazy thanks for all the good tips thank you for being here um if you're not already following feel free to follow gives you notifications when i'm live and stuff i'm sure you guys already are um, I appreciate all the subs and stuff. Uh, times are tough, and income is not exactly disposable as much as it used to be for a lot of people, so I appreciate uh, when you guys do have spare, and it goes my way. Uh, that is not something I take for granted. Um, anyway, yeah, go say I to say. Uh, Say's doing a pretty interesting challenge run. Uh, no looting is one of the um, restrictions. You'll, you'll enjoy it. Lots of cool skips, speedrun tech integrated into a normal run, or normal run. I'll see you over there. Have a good one. Bye-bye.